we're changing the specs this close to the deadline? <sighs> Those morons in sales didn't even ask us. I've already hit 100 hours of overtime, and I'm tapped out. Hell, it's not like we have a choice. They got us by the balls. Relax, guys. I've got this covered. Huh? How are you going to do that? Well, they did hire me for my skills as a programmer. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to do the job the right way. I'll just give it the old college try. Oh my gosh! A neutral green Mephisto Mark II! I didn't know it was out! I can't believe they actually carry the high divine models in a place like this! Nice! <laughs> I thought I'd be looking for a new job. Kurita's a freaking wizard. If by wizard you mean nerd, then yes. Yeah, he's a mega otaku. Apparently, he's filled a room in his apartment with plastic models. Like girly models? No, like anime giant robots. I don't care if he's an otaku. Mr. Kurita's my hero! His programming's the stuff of legend! Well, he's a genius. Ambrosius is as healthy as ever, dear. Keeping his strength is part of his duty, after all. The prosperity of our fair Fremavia hinges on his might. And with the ever-rising threat of demon peace, that might will soon be tested. I think he knows it, too. He just presented the Night Runners of Laiala Academy with a large sum of money and a rather splendid speech. It's his way of telling us to raise more Night Runners and do it quickly. That husband of yours will have his hands full. There's no need to worry about Mavius, Father. Perhaps not, but I can't help worrying about my grandson there. I can understand that. Ernesty isn't as developed as the other boys his age. He's small, but I can't shake the feeling that he's destined for greatness. <laughs> Like no one 
once worse for wear. Yes, thanks to your impeccable timing. I heard demon beasts were attacking the road. Sorry, I came as fast as I could. <sighs> Ernie, are you okay? A real robot. What's a robot? Do you mean the silhouette knife? Uh-huh. Each one is powered by magic. Do you like it, my boy? When you're older, perhaps you could be a night runner yourself. Amazing! So if I become a night runner, I can pilot a silhouette knight? You would have to learn magic and swordsmanship, but I know you can do it. I get it. I was reborn into this world for this, to meet these magnificent robots! I'll do it! I'll be the best night runner ever! It is the Occidental year 1268. The kingdom of Fremovia is constantly under threat by roaming demon beasts. Our story begins near the capital of Konkunin and the academy city of Lahiala, where young Ernesty starts his journey. Slow, repetitive training and constant study that most children would despise was no problem for Ernesty. Instead, he immersed himself. For him, every lesson learned was another step towards piloting a silhouette knight. I'll add a mission and enhancement spell to the basic wind spell structure and execute. I see. Magic works the same way the programs do. <gasps> the next three years passed in the blink of such a hurry. He's supposed to be here in the morning. I don't want to see him. But Mom really wants us to meet him. What's up? He's not my father, and he never will be, noble or not. But he is a noble. We have to. Fine, then you can stay here. Nah, someone's got to watch you. Hey, don't say it like that. Uh, uh... Eddie! I was training here. Be careful, the rooftops are slippery in the morning. Why? Hold on. If it's so dangerous, why are you up here? Suspicious. Also, I refuse to believe a boy's that cute. This was Ernesty's first meeting with his future lifelong friends, Arkid and Adeltrude. You used magic, didn't you? Do you think you could teach us some too? Spellcraft isn't something you can just pick up. First, you have to develop your mana or magic power, and that takes lots of training. I'll do it! If you're serious about it, I don't mind teaching you, but it will be tough. So cute! Listen to you sounding all reliable! Mistress, I found the mamper on the roof! Uh-oh. We'd better go. See you tomorrow morning? Sure. Ernesty's hometown, Lahiala, had a singular purpose within the kingdom of Fremavia to train the night runners and produce the silhouette knights they would pilot. Of course, Ernesty's dream was to become a pilot himself. So when the time was right, he joined the academy. In those booklets, you'll find a comprehensive guide to all of your classes. Please find the section marked elementary school and- Fundamental silhouette design? I can't wait to take that class. Mr. Echevalier, that course is for middle school students. For now, we'll be focusing on the development of your magic power. I understand that, sir. The thing is, I want to be a night runner as soon as possible. Unfortunately, there are two fundamentals you sorely lack. A complete knowledge of the basics. And stature. Come on, Ernie. Try not to let it get to you. Of course, the seats would be designed for full-grown adults. I should have realized that. I need to get big and fast! No way! You have to stay cute and small forever! Unless there's another way. <gasps> That's uh -huh. it! If I can't change myself, I'll change the silhouette knights instead! What do you mean? I'll just build one that I can fit in! I think he's gone crazy! Build a knight? Of course, why wouldn't I? Customizing's the best part! Though, if we're talking a redesign from the uh -huh. ground up, that makes having a complete understanding of the design principles crucial. 
I need to get out of that magic class and into middle school courses <sighs> pronto. Hey, run up, Stumpy! Come get You'll it! I'll be sorry when I catch you! Give it back! <laughs> this hammer's too good for a dirty dwarf! It's ours now! Because you're out of luck, freak! Hey, what's going on? Uh, they think that they can get away with picking on me because my legs are too short to keep up with them! Those dumb jerks! I saved up for months to afford that hammer! <sighs> they can't have it! Wait a second! <sighs> Sorry, huh? I was wondering what you study here. You kidding? I'm a dwarf. What do you think I'm gonna study? My family's been nightsmiths for generations. Please forgive my ignorance. I happen to have a great deal of respect for anyone involved with Silhouette Knights. If you're interested, I think I can help you out here. That seems a slow poke. His brains are full of angels. When I get my hands on them... Let's do it, you two. Okay. okay. Guys, and how did you learn a high spell <laughs> like that? Hold on, this kid mastered the fundamentals on his own and taught you to? Yep, impressive, isn't it? Hmm. Don't you think these rods are a little awkward? Huh? I understand why we need to attach this catalyst to a device in order to focus and transform our mana. A rod is the most practical form to produce magical phenomena. But I can't help thinking the design is missing something. Looks like you've used it a lot. And only for the usual stuff. Usual? My point is, night runners face times when a more precise control of magic is needed. Maybe changing the shape of the basic rod could accomplish that. May I? Something like this. I don't get it. Yeah, it looks weird. This would give the rod more utility. It combines the power of a sword to cut enemies with a gun that fires magic. <gasps> Interesting idea you got there, kid. I like it. If you can try to make one for me, I'll show you what it can do. Now, yeah, with confidence like that, I'd be crazy to say no, right? Firebolt Splash! Seems we have some talent in this year's batch, wouldn't you say? It would seem so. Of course, the problem with talented students is that some of them are painfully aware of it. Excuse me, may I make a request, sir? Yes, what is it, Ashwalia? If I showed that my current skills are far beyond the contents of this course, could I skip magic fundamentals and go straight to middle school? Young man, I highly doubt you could produce such fantastic results. Then allow me to prove it to you, sir. If I do, there's a class during this period I'd like to switch to. Being the headmaster's grandson doesn't give you the right to special treatment. I don't want any. I'd like you to make the decision based solely off my abilities. You do understand that being excused from magical fundamentals would mean you possess the same level of mana and knowledge as a middle school student. I do, sir. Very well. We'll see why you're so confident. Take your position. <gasps> what is that? A rod? Looks weird. First, a piercing lance. of it, there's no way you could be a master of a silhouette knight. Well, yeah. Why do you think the design is a national secret? Even a knightsmith like your father doesn't know it? We're not high enough level for that kind of stuff. We don't even know what the reactor's made of, let alone how to build one. Are 
Are you really planning to make your own unit from scratch, Ernie? Of course I am! It's been a hundred years since the Kingdom's standard silhouette knife the Caldatoa was introduced, and there have been no advancements since then. Even the saladreas we use are made from 300-year-old schematics. You can't make something new and expect it to. Don't worry. It will work. Ernie! Get down here quick! We're about to head out! We'll talk more when I get back. Be careful out there! Even with the high school's protection, it even needs just nothing to sneeze at. Laihiala Academy prizes, field exercises, and combat training. The middle and high school students in the night curriculum headed to a nearby forest, where a herd of relatively small demon beasts were supposed to live. <sighs> I was expecting demon beasts, not a pleasant country stroll. I wasn't trained to fight boredom. Quit your whining, D. I'd like to keep my sanity. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with telling the truth? Elvie, D, enough! There's more to training than combat. Long stretches of marching will test your resolve as much as any battle. Spoken like a true masochist fearless leader. At least one of us is happy. Mmm, -mm, that was perfect. I'm stuffed. I hope so. You ate like a wild boar. You've already finished dinner? You must have had quite the appetite. Uh, hi, Sister Council Sophie. President. Big Sister huh? will do fine. We may have different mothers, but our father's blood still runs through each of us. I take it you're the gifted earnesty I've heard so much about? Yes. Huh? Don't be surprised. Everyone at the Academy's heard of you. Though I'm not sure why you want to advance in grade so quickly. What about the Silhouette Knights is so enticing? That would take a while to explain. You're a little on the eccentric side, aren't you? Big sis! It's not weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I simply have a fondness for kids with looks and intelligence. Uh, Sadly, the third years have night training, so I must be off. I hope someday I'll truly get to know your mind. <laughs> Sorry, Ernie. Mm -hmm. Guess I hoped this would never come up, so I kept it from you. The council president's dad, Marquis Joachim Salati, happens to be our dad, too. He and our mom had a thing, but she isn't a noble, so they couldn't marry. Which means Addy and I, well, we're... Excluded from the line of noble succession, right? I understand the situation. Just tell me what you need me to do. To do? Attack head-on, ignore her, or ambush her at night. Ambush! It's safer! Wait! None of those! Where'd that even come from? If my friends are in trouble, I have no intention of ignoring that. Whenever you need help, I'll be there. Uh, that really means a lot. You're a hell of a friend, Ernie. <laughs> Giant robots really are the best. Merely looking at it brings me peace. Every family should have one. I heard that the Academy Silhouette Knights were passed down from the military, but this one's undergone some extensive customization. You almost can't tell it started out as a Saladrea. The Earl Cumber and I have been together for nearly two years. I have made a few special modifications myself. Good to see you, Edgar. Are you going out on patrol tonight all by yourself? Uh-huh. My partner Dietrich's being difficult. You seem almost as passionate about Silhouette Knights as I am. Really? I guess I can see why you would think that. It's important to me. Earl Cumber isn't just my weapon. It's my armor. My irreplaceable partner. I'm so envious! I wish I could speed up time and get a partner of my own. Well, wanna hop in? <gasps> I can't let you pilot it, but you can sit oh, in it. Oh, yes, please! <laughs> I figured you wouldn't reach the stirrup. Okay. Great. Better than great. I'm actually sitting in a robot. What's a robot? I've never heard of it. What every man dreams of. Addie, wake up. Aw, thanks, Ernie. What are you doing? Uh-uh. A large group of demons. 
demon beasts attacked the third years during their night exercises. We're getting out of here. First and second years, leave your things and get in the transports immediately. High school students, advance in your silhouette nights and cover their retreats. <laughs> No talking! I hope Big Sis is okay. Oh. Stefania. Go! We're all in! Sir! I have a quest! And I thought this night couldn't get any worse. He 
Fiala Academy of Nightrunners were overwhelmed by a horde of demon beasts. But thanks to Ernesty and the Silhouette Knights, damage was minimal and no lives were lost. Be sure to let the wounded into carriages first! Can somebody give me a stretcher over here? Hey, can somebody cast the pipe? Things would have been much worse without you. Thank you, Ernesty. And I suppose you two did okay. <laughs> It must have been pretty scary for you, Big Sis. Maybe you should nap or something. There's no need to worry, after all. Oh! Uh. Ernie is with me! I feel so much better with him at my side! Uh. Oh. Hands off him! Ernie is mine, not yours! You spent every waking moment with him! Sharing his caring, let me borrow him for a bit! No, go get your own! Oh. President. We need to talk. <gasps> it's about this forest. It was deemed safe enough for the exercise, right? If that was the case, we wouldn't have been overrun with demon beasts like that. If I'm right, this wasn't random and we're far from being out of danger. It's possible that herd was driven here by a more terrifying power. Division class? <sighs> I'm afraid so. It's heading for the capital. As we speak, it could be making its way through Cloquet Forest. Even if we were to bring together all the silhouette knights of Yontunin, there are still less than a hundred of us here. A division-class demon beast would make short work of us. <clears throat> we should mobilize now, sir! Black Yala students left for Cloquet Forest yesterday. <sighs> of all the times! Gather up all the night runners in the vicinity. As soon as the first group's ready to go, we're heading out. Sir! I pray we make it in time. What if the demon beasts weren't actually running toward us, but instead, were fleeing from something? If that's true, what scared them? Something far stronger than they were, and bigger. Treat. Helvi, stand with me! Did you leave your brain in your tent or something? We can't kill that monster on our own. We just have to delay it until the underclassmen are evacuated. We are night runners. We rush into battle, not away from it. So we have to fight. All units, light them up! Fire! I couldn't help! 
stop it, okay? If I'd stayed, I'd be just like Gephardt. I chose to live. Is that such a crime? What's the point of being a knight if you're just going to die for nothing? All my options were crap. I took the best one I got. I did... I did just leave them all to die. It was hard to catch you. You're fast. No time to beat around the bush, so... I'll just ask. You ran away, didn't you? Ah, uh, damn it! Yes, I left them! Are you happy? It's not like it made a difference! One person more or less couldn't stop it! If they were smart, they would have turned tail and ran as far away as they could! Thank you. <gasps> For being honest. Now I can take the Guer from you without hesitation. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Make yourself comfortable and I'll take care of the rest. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, I knew that wouldn't work. It's hard to accept, but for now there's no way I can control a silhouette knight through normal means. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to do the job the right way. I'll just give it the old college try. Okay, now, let's see what this baby can do with the programmer at the helm. Pattern analysis. Identify basic spells, physical enhancement, movement control, position mapping. Modularize and link them. Same for the input and output control of the ether reactor's power. Ernest, he shunned all methods of physical control over the Guerre. Instead, he tried to use his gun-like rod to magically input his own custom scripts. In the long history of the Silhouette Knights, no one had ever attempted such a feat and they would be forever changed after this. Finally, I'll convert the spell parameters of myself and the Silhouette Knight, and initiate input-output control at default values. Conversion complete! Activating engine! Now, a quick adjustment to the output variable. Keep back the movement gap and initiate optimization! It's working! It's working! It's working! crazy, but I think he stole a silhouette knight and went to attack that thing himself. No way! How would he pilot it? He's far too small. It's possible. <laughs> Damn it! Help me! Look out! Can you 
move. Barely. And standing won't happen anytime soon. I'm sorry, T. Hang in for as long as you can. Positions. Huh? What the? How can a silhouette knight move that way? <laughs> Tell the toes! We're saved! The guardian knights will kick it! Ow! I didn't Ow. think they would get here so quickly. Friends of night, get clear of the target! Now! All units, fire! <laughs> How do you like that, ugly? Tells me all they did was make it angrier. <laughs> Prepare the hard bunker clusters! Charge! Ah! 
The lightning traveled through the behemoth's eye, burning everything along its optic nerve until it struck the brainstem. Despite its powerful magic, even a division-class demon beast could not survive without its biological core intact. Once the brain was destroyed, the enhancement magic that supported the beast's colossal frame vanished, and it was crushed under its own massive weight. Well fought, everyone! I want a report from each company. If you can move, get to work recovering the beast's heart! I'm so sorry, Dietrich. I thought you had abandoned us, but I was wrong. I won't forget what you did, my friend. I thought we were dead for sure. Oh, hey, Edgar! What's with the face? <laughs> I told you, Big Sis! Ernie stole a knight and saved us all by himself! <sighs> Poor Dietrich. I don't think he'll ever live this one down. Hey, Ernie? What if you couldn't get inside the silhouette knight? What was the plan then? Probably to catch up with the carriage and evacuate. It was all a big gamble, but I couldn't let the opportunity slip by me. Well, at least he's willing to admit as much. And now, I know I'm too small to pilot, so building a mech of my own is the only option left to me. <sighs> I thought you were done! I'm just getting started! You'll see, Addy. One day soon, I'll pilot a silhouette knight made with my own hands! He's twelve? You're saying a prepubescent child defeated a division-class demon beast? Yes, sire. Announcing this would affect the knight's morale, so we're keeping it quiet for now. Ernesty Echevalier. Laurie's grandson, perhaps. I believe so, sire. Even the most loyal dogs can turn on their masters. He could be dangerous to us. I suppose I'll have to meet this child and find out. Greetings, Majesty. Sorry to keep you waiting. This is my grandchild, Ernesty Echevalier. It's an honor to meet you, sire. The report said the child was a boy. It's true. I can prove it if required. Fearless and straightforward, despite his appearance, he is Lori's. Thank you for inviting us, Your Majesty. I'm impressed. He's quite composed for someone his age. I wish more children showed such respect. I'm honored by your praise. Majesty. I'm sure by now you've wondered why I summoned you here, Ernesty. Your victory the other day was unexpected, to say the least, and presented quite the conundrum. I'm unsure how to reward you for it. Thank you. But Ernesty doesn't require a reward. He's still a child. Child or no, I cannot fail to compensate someone who defeats a behemoth single-handedly. What is it you desire? Name it, and it shall be yours. Anything? Calm down. He can't be asking me this out of goodwill. There's a motive. I should assume this is some sort of test on his part. Should I just say I don't need anything? Or throw caution to the wind? And if I choose the latter, what do I ask for? The latest model of Silhouette Knight? No. No, this is the chance of a lifetime. I should ask for something impossible to obtain. Something I'll never have another chance to get. In that case, I ask for this, sire. I want knowledge. Knowledge that can't be found in any books. Only you can grant this to me, sire. I want to know how to make an ether reactor. The heart of a knight. <gasps> you ingrate! How dare you take advantage of the king's generosity! That is one of our country's greatest treasures, a secret kept for generations! Dick's guard, that's quite enough. You are correct, young Echevalier. I am the only one who can grant you such knowledge. But I must ask, what will you do once you've learned the mysteries of the Knight's Heart? Okay, this is it. As I'm sure you're aware, Majesty, I'm currently learning to be a Knight Runner at Lahial Academy. But my ultimate goal is, and has always been, to acquire my own unique Silhouette Knight. Ah. Now that's a wish I could easily grant. You should have asked for that instead of the Aether Reactor. Sorry, I wasn't clear enough. 
I meant, I want to build my own silhouette knight. It won't be special unless I make it with my own hands. You believe you can make a silhouette knight from scratch? I do indeed. And why is this so important to you? Because... It's my hobby, sire! <laughs> what a ridiculous answer. You surprised me, boy. And that is not an easy feat. Sorry. Please be merciful. I promise to give my grandson a stern talking to. Granted. Uh -huh. The knowledge shall be yours. Majesty! However, slaying a mere behemoth is not enough to justify your request. If you truly want the Aether Reactor, you must first prove to me that you can make good use of its power. Okay, how would you like me to go about that, Your Majesty? Build your knight. Though for this challenge, you will merely need to create a chassis. If your new design impresses me and can satisfy my standards, then I will grant your wish and your dream will be a reality. <laughs> I won't fail you, sire! The next day, the Marquis, Joachim of Salati, invited his children back from Lahiala Academy. Father, it's good to see you. <laughs> Indeed, it seems you're doing well. So, uh, what's the reason you summoned us here, Father? Stefania informs me that you two are rather close to Ernestia Chevalier. Um, yeah? His Majesty the King has taken quite a liking to him as well. <laughs> I'm interested in the boy's progress. If he is successful in any way, let me know at once. I would like to be the first to inform his majesty. I don't know if we do that. Will it help, Ernie? Yes, of course. Though I would appreciate it if you didn't tell him we talked about this. I don't want it to distract him. His task is daunting enough. Hey, is this right? No, this one goes here, that one goes there. If I see anyone slacking, you get my foot up your ass! What happened here? I just replaced this crystal tissue. It looks like it's been to hell and back. How did they put it through this much stress in one night? Beautiful. Uh. Even like this, they're elegant in their own way. The form collapses, and only the wreckage remains. This is true, refined beauty! <gasps> and then, when you realize you're responsible for it, you're not sure whether to feel guilty or proud of the destruction. Who the hell are you? Please don't you mind him, boss! Sorry, David, I was just leaving! Uh. Hold it! <laughs> so, kid, you're responsible for this? I'd like to hear how you managed it. <sighs> I'm sorry, can you go over it again? Sure, it's simple. I copied out all of the scripts from the Magius engine, did the calculations myself, and used the custom scripts to pilot the unit. Let's say, hypothetically, that you did. What does any of that have to do with the way Guerre fell apart? Well, I was effectively a stand-in for the engine. That allowed me to remove all its limiters and do whatever I wanted. I took every ounce of mana I had to give and used it to attack. Of course, that depleted the enhancement magic holding the frame together. That sound like a decent summary to you? Or were you too busy pissing yourself? <laughs> yeah, that about sums it up, boss. Dietrich really surprised me. He was incredible out there. I would have been roasted without his help. That last attack on the behemoth would have been impossible to pull off alone. We made a great team. No, please. No, I didn't do anything. Why are you so gloomy? It's a time to celebrate. We should be praising the Guerre. Sure, kid. Whatever. Let's get back on topic. You're telling me if you use your full strength, any knight that you piloted would end up just like Guerre. If it's a current model, yeah, it would pretty much be scrap. Uh, you idiot! We can't build a new unit every other day! You don't have to. I've already come up with a solution. Is this really crystal tissue? It would increase structural integrity tenfold. And power! I call it the Strand-type Crystal Tissue. Amazing! We only swapped out 30% muscle mass and it worked great! Each fiber is fairly weak on its own, but weaving them together dramatically increases their strength. 
We compared to laying them out in a straight line. This allows them to expand and contract over a greater distance, which leads to greater energy output. Well, I'll be damned. Instead of just repairing all these units, we're giving them an upgrade. Before you do, I have one more idea. What if we made an alteration to the humanoid shape? Hmm. All right. I'll hear you out. Lay it on me. Boss? About time. Good to see you again. Oh, Ernesty. What are you doing in here? <sighs> just living the dream. Pardon? Helvi, I wanted to talk to you about the Trandorcus. Yeah, it's a real mess, isn't it? Don't worry, the boss will have it as good as new in no time. In fact, he'll make it even stronger and faster than before. Really? Yep, but we need your help. That's why we called you here. All right. Hm. Silhouette knights have only ever had two arms to work with. But when you stop to think about it, it's not as efficient as it could be. To use magic in combat, knight runners need to switch from sword to rod and vice versa for melee combat. It takes time, and in that split second, while the Night Runner is vulnerable, a demon beast could gain the upper hand. True, but we're so used to swapping on the fly, it's a simple matter. Sure, but I think we can make it even simpler. Humor me for a moment. What if we added another pair of arms to the back of the unit? Huh? <laughs> Interesting thought, but that form is traditional. Silhouette Knights have always been based on humans. That's part of the reason we're able to operate them so easily. I mean, sure, we could put arms in the back, but how are we supposed to move them? No need to worry, they're not going to be fully functional limbs. Their only purpose will be to hold the rods so the pilot can fire them. It's a crude design, but it will work for the testing phase. For convenience, we'll refer to the rod the subarms are holding as the unit's back weapon. We'll use a dedicated script to control the subarms movement. This will include gripping and moving the back weapon. We'll also add an aiming function to the basic controls. And with a targeting reticle on the heads up display, all the night runner has to do is aim and fire. It's simpler than I thought it would be. With enough practice, I bet I could use the sword and rod at the same time, no sweat. Their form may be human, but silhouette knights are just advanced tools. If there's some function we want them to have, don't you think we should change that form to create it? Tell me, Silverhair, you sure you're a human? I mean, how do you come up with these ideas? I've never seen or heard of anything like them. Because they don't exist! That's why I'm making them? It's called invention. Hey, Ernie. What's up? If you add those things, Silhouette Knights will get even stronger. Yep, that's the plan. Be honest. Once you finish them, you'll fight the demon beasts again, right? Uh, well, yeah, of course I will. That's a Night Runner's job, after all. The entire kingdom counts on us for protection. Then let us help. There must be something we can do. Please, Ernie. The thought of you facing demon beasts by yourself is worse than death. I don't ever want to feel that helpless again. Let us fight those monsters with you. The next time you face a demon, I won't be stuck in a carriage. You taught us magic, so you can teach us to be night runners too. <gasps> you got it! And I've already come up with the perfect plan! You're sure you could pull this off? Honest? I am. I just need your permission. Most of the units are being repaired now. What you're proposing would keep them out of commission longer. The creation or major overhaul of a silhouette knight is complicated. The whole process will require parts and time, not to mention plenty of manpower. If I'm going to achieve a simpler way to construct silhouette knights, I need this. But first I'll make a practice model! Thank you all for coming out. As you can see, this new machine is far simpler than a full-sized unit. They'll be essential for testing, and I'd like all of you to construct them with Batson leading the project. Us? Make those things? And so, Ernie's new plans were set in motion. Soon, the entire school would be involved. The new crystal tissue worked as we intended, but the underlying framework's completely blown out. I didn't think of that! <laughs> Guess we'll be burning the midnight oil on this one. We're counting on you. Good luck! Okay, time to get 
some training in. Take it easy, you moron. We just finished tuning that one. Oh, your frame's so cold and hard. My dear, you're perfect. No fair. They would do anything for Ernesty to say that to me. Why can't I be made of metal? Hey, Edgar! How's it feel? I think they're running pretty smoothly. I'm still trying to walk. Fun, huh? It just takes some getting used to. Look, Ernesty, I get that these silhouette gears are important to you and all. It's just, the controls are complicated, and they use too much mana. There's no way these will serve as a replacement for silhouette night training. You really think so? One, two, Allie, one, two. Well, those two are unique. Couldn't you incorporate a Magius engine at least? That way, I can operate this thing with ease. Quit complaining, Edgar. It's pathetic. You're the top knight in Lyheala. Act like it. What have you done with Dietrich? Very funny. These gear things really force you to think about how much mana you're using. High runners of any level could learn a lot training with them. Hey, D, want to play tag? You're it. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> you sure changed. What happened? After tons of research, trials, and revisions, a modified silhouette night was completed. Now it was time to put Ernesty's new alterations to the test. All set? When you're ready, try standing up. <laughs> Try taking a step or two. Nice and easy. It's got a lot of power, so it's hard to make it work the way I want it to. We'll worry about tuning it after the test. Our goal for today is seeing those in action. Those silhouette gears are really something else. Just goes to show they're more than meets the eye. Deploying the subarms now. Displaying reticle. Lock target and fire. Oh, it's even more accurate than I'd hoped. Test fire complete. Retracting subarms. Looks good. Uh, they're happy about something like that. Isn't it more impressive if you use the magic yourself, Ernie? Well, with this, we can increase firepower at will. But what's important is that our hard work paid off. This silhouette knight took its first steps today. And that is worthy of a few happy tears. I don't really get it, but I'm happy for you nonetheless. Congratulations, Ernie! What's your take on this new equipment, Dee? Well, it won't just help with long-range combat, but close quarters too. I like it. True, but it's one thing if we're up against demon beasts. What happens if we have to fight the new unit? I'll tell you. You'll get knocked flat on your top knight backside. With this new power, no one's a match for me. Even the great Edgar couldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my baby. Somehow I doubt that's true. Do you have the guts to find out? Jeez. They didn't have to make a big deal of this. It's only a mock battle. You better not think of backing out on me. If you're both ready, we can get this started. This is the last trial. We get to see what our new unit can really do. To my right, the new and renamed Telestale. And its opponent, the battle-hardened Earlcumber. Knights, bow. Take positions. It may be shiny and new, but that won't decide the fight. It always comes down to skill. I won't forget you, Trandorcus. Thank you for everything. 
Let's go, Telestale. Begin! Why isn't she taking advantage of her longer range? Let's give a proper hello. The strand type's power is unreal. I didn't think it was possible. But if being around Ernesty has taught me anything, it's that moving forward means throwing away what you know. Well, that's Edgar for you. Stubborn as a wall. Any other pilot would have been done for by now. Elvie's using the Telestale like she's had it for years. And that, my silver-haired friend, is the reason she's a test runner. She's pushing it awfully hard, though. Probably taking advantage of the superior output. And there's plenty of tuning to do on the control system. Fighting with precision isn't viable yet. So it's strength versus skill. Can't wait to see who wins. Their close range magic is tough. I can't counter it! I don't like to gamble in a fight, but being backed into a corner just isn't fun. Nothing less from you, Edgar. If you're going all out, then so will I! Gotcha! How the hell did he manage that block? Come on, we just built that! That's how you want to play? Fine, we'll take it up a notch! Give him everything we've got, Telestale! Trials. Great work, everyone. Moving forward, we'll deal with the decreased fuel efficiency that we discovered in the mock battle. <clears throat> well, enough of that. Drink up! Yes, sir! Get over there and cheer Helvy up. Why me? You do it. I'm excited. Why? Won't the king reward you for all this? You practically made history today. Yeah. You changed the silhouette night forever. Well, not quite yet. The Telestale may be finished, but it's nowhere near completed. We've got a long way to go. I was afraid he'd say that. We're walking a difficult path here. It can't be trod in just one day. <laughs> yeah, okay. So his pet project isn't finished yet. All right, we'll stick around and see what else he has in store. By this time, a tiny thorn had already embedded itself in La Hiala Academy. Unfortunately, no one, not even Ernesty, had noticed its presence. After a successful trial of the Telestale's new armaments, Ernesty discovered a flaw in his design. The unit's mana drained rapidly. Unless he could fix this, the design would not be suited for actual combat. It's like we thought. New output killed him. Fuel efficiency's not existent. Figures. Unfortunately, we can't make any changes to the ether reactor. That would fix everything. Couldn't we just increase the mana storage capacity? Sure, but we'd have to install extra crystal tissue to compensate for it. But more tissue means more mana usage. We'd be back where we started. How can we break this cycle? No problem. This sort of thing is Ernie's specialty. It is? Yeah, silly. Uh. You're the one who kept saying the new knights don't have to look human. So you don't have to stick to human muscles. Right? Yeah, I didn't think of that. If our goal is mana capacity, then the knight's form doesn't really matter. Of course. It's kind of embarrassing you came up with it. Hey, what's that mean?
Gently. Almost. Good. Stop there. Whoa. What are you adding to our gears? They look pretty intense. It would be easier to show than tell. Huh? Kid? Addy? Ready when you are. All set. Let the test begin. First, we'll try the wire anchor. that a successful field test. Agreed. Let's move on. This is a new ranged weapon made with the strand type crystal tissue. We're calling it the Scorpius. It would be faster for you to use it than for me to explain how it works, so just give it a whirl. Okay. Like this. Here goes. Ah. Are you sure it's okay to fire this thing in town? Yeah! Now fire multiple shots! Multiple? Uh, it's an automatic fire siege weapon! It works better than I thought! Ernie, what's the point of having something like this? Huh? Seriously, why make grapplers and siege weapons unless you're going to use them? Hmm. Honestly, I hadn't thought of that. I just wanted to challenge myself and see if I could pull it off. For a genius, you're kind of an idiot. Meanwhile, the plan to increase the amount of crystal tissue had run into some problems. It looks so dumb! It's all bulky now! It's almost too heavy to move. Back to the drawing board. Maybe some kind of external pack would work. different than before. There's no balance. The selfish machine's gonna give me gray hairs. The Aubin Mountains range so far, they effectively split the continent of Zetterland in two. To the west of the mountains lies the Western Kingdoms, the so-called Occident. And, of course, our fair kingdom of Fremavia encompasses the eastern half. We are connected to the Great Bocuse Forest, where the demon beasts originate. Frustrating. I'll have to consider the Telestali complete for now. But I already know what my next step will be. I wanted to speak to you about this new unit, Ernesty. When you started this project, I expected little more than an improvement to the basic Salodria model. But this... You've made something completely different, haven't you? Yep. There's never been a silhouette knight like it. I see. Should I inform His Majesty that you're ready to present the unit? No, not yet. He asked for the best I had to offer. We still have a long way to go before it's ready. If he wasn't so impressive, this kid would be downright terrifying. The Telestale is a foundation. One that I intend to build a marvelous castle on top of. That's what it's going to take if I truly want to shock the king. Very well. But keep the shock to a minimum. My heart can't take it. Now then. It may not be finished, but I should turn in some form of report. The king doesn't need to be bothered with it. Submit a report to the lab instead. You mean the Silhouette Night Lab, right? Filling them in now would help streamline the overall process. Great idea, boss! Lori was concerned about the effect the new unit would have on the laboratory. Developing Silhouette Knights had always been a major government project. How would they respond when they learned a single Night Runner student had done it? Their reaction may not be favorable. Only time would tell. What do we do? About what? Our promise with Dad, stupid! Is it now the right time? Oh, right. We said we'd tell him whenever Ernie made progress. We might as well. If we don't, he'll find out from the laboratory. It's better if we get to tell him ourselves. Good point! We can't have any of them taking credit for Ernie's hard work. Make sure this gets to Marquis Dixgard. Of course, sir. I understand. I'll have all the students involved with the project gathered at once. We getting a reward or something? Somehow I doubt they're that generous. 
As you may have guessed, you've been summoned here because of your involvement with the new Silhouette Knight. We too are knights, the Order of the Scarlet Rabbit, sent by Marquis Dixgard. I am the commander, Sir Morton Fredholm. This feels off. Do not be alarmed. The Marquis has taken an interest in your project and wishes to see it for himself. We'd like you to send all these new units to Fort Casadusis, along with sufficient personnel to operate them. The Marquis' time is extremely valuable. With that in mind, we'll be leaving immediately. Uh. Excuse me, sir. This is obviously terrible weather to be operating Silhouette Knights in. Can't we wait it out? Afraid not. I've got a bad feeling about this. Shut up! Do you want to jinx them? Think uh, before you talk, stupid! Okay, I got it! Unfortunately, Kid's feeling turned out to be right. that a shaker worm can take it down, then we've wasted our time here. It works. And if it's as powerful as it seems, we can't let those scarlet bunnies keep it. I agree, but still. It's said that even a single ant couldn't find a way into Fort Casadusis. Once they're safely within the walls, even our Order of the Bronze Fang won't be able to get to them. Idiot. <laughs> Leave it to a man to think force is the only viable solution. If you use your brain for once, you'd see. We already have the answer. Huh. I could really use a dose of Ernie in my life. <sighs> I haven't seen or hugged him for a week straight. Do you know if our father passed on the message, kid? Uh. You know? Why is that Marquis coming to see the new unit instead of his majesty? How am I supposed to know? Jeez. This whole thing was your idea, uh, our kid! I'm not the one who wrote it's the single greatest thing ever, am I? Shut up! I hit writer's block! They're coming this way! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> All right, don't get too excited. If every tool in that shop isn't pristine, there's gonna be hell to pay. Boss! Uh, Welcome back! Where's Eddie? <laughs> yeah. You wanna take this one? Did something happen? Where's Ernie? <sighs> he and the Telestale. We'll be staying at the fort for the time being. You saw the new design in action. What was your impression of it? 
In terms of speed, output, and firepower, I'd say it's vastly superior to the Kaldatoas. I have no choice but to give it high marks. It's the single greatest thing ever. Uh -huh. uh. Sir? Never mind. It seems these new units will be a great benefit to us. We will treat them the same way as their predecessors. Sir. The Silhouette Knights represent our kingdom's greatest accomplishment. It took nearly 300 years for the original Saladrea to be replaced, and the current Caldatoas have been in service for generations. Compared to that, this arrogant child's hobby makes creating a Silhouette Knight look like child's play. His Majesty would be excited over the boy's success. That's a problem. Hmm? That boy, he's up to something, and I will find out what it is no matter what. <sighs> Father, we need to talk. Stefania, why are you here? Would you mind clearing the room for a moment? There's an urgent matter I need to discuss with you. An urgent matter? Wait, how'd you get here from my heel? I need to talk to you alone! Very well. All right. What's this about? You owe me an explanation. Not until I get a straight answer. Father, what'd you tell the Marquis? Ernesty a Chevalier. You've been busy as of late. It's a pleasure to see you again, sir. What can I do for you? You can go over the new unit. And you won't leave anything out. Okay. So, as you can see, by replacing the old crystal tissue with the refined strand-type crystal tissue, and refitting the telestale with it, we achieved nearly two times the output of existing units. Please refer to the paper I gave you for the next part. As I said before, the biggest flaw in the Telestale's design is its running time. Apart from that, I can refine it a bit more, especially in terms of production cost. We can expect improvement in regard to those two points in the future. Now, Ugh. the most important part of all, the ether reactor must still use existing technology. That's the biggest roadblock. It makes it hard to improve anything further. I hope you can understand my dilemma here. Anyway, that's all there is to tell about the new unit and its future development plans. I hope it met your expectations. Yes. Do you have any further questions, sir? Of course. Plenty. Go ahead. As you know, I've been given full authority here. That means over you and the unit's development. In other words, the project is no longer yours. Any evaluations and decisions are mine to make from here on out. The explanation you just gave me will be the one I give to His Majesty verbatim. Do you have any problem with that? Not at all. Excuse me? That means I won't have to give His Majesty the same explanation myself, right? I'll leave it in your capable hands. Uh. Of course, if you have new questions, I'll happily answer them. <laughs> uh, you're saying... You're okay with that? Okay with what? I'm confused, sir. Honor, wealth, status, your future, all of it. I don't understand. What are you playing at? Just what do you intend to do after this? Well, I'm still only a first year student at the Night Runner Middle School, sir. I suppose I'll focus on graduating. Stop yeah. lying to me, you irreverent brat! This is a serious matter. Don't you understand what you've done? I, uh, developed a new silhouette knight. Don't make it sound so simple. Feels silly to explain this, but I'll do it anyway. Listen, ever since the founding of our kingdom, no, since the dawn of written history itself, no silhouette knight has ever been designed by one person. Such a feat was deemed to be impossible. Look, uh. the development of a silhouette knight is a major endeavor. For over half a millennium, they were only achieved through time and the hard work of countless personnel. But you, you go and make it look easy. Then you had the unmitigated gall to request access to the ether reactor, our kingdom's most vital secret. Why are you even pretending to be a normal child? Well, if it helps the Telestales in the final unit I was going to show the king... It wasn't? You're telling me you're not finished yet? Of course not. 
I was challenged. The king wanted to see the best machine I can make, and I'm going to give it to him. <sighs> the single greatest thing ever. Yeah! <laughs> what do you think of that, Newt? The crystal tissue could only support a maximum of 10 weights before, but now we've taken it up to 11. Well, the future is bright indeed. Don't tell me you intend to continue this folly. Of course I do. How will we ever improve unless we fail first? <laughs> I don't get it. Why? Why do all this? What is the point? Because it's my hobby, sir. I see. Very well, young man. I'm satisfied. In other words, you thought it'd be best for Ernie to meet the Marquis himself. More or less, yes. That's great. We don't need to worry after all. Why's that? Because it's Ernie we're talking about. Oh, truthfully, I'd be more worried about the poor Marquis. No, if I were you three, I'd be worried about myself right now. Uh? I know for a fact that school wasn't canceled. You'll make up for it. <laughs> Let's hear what you have to say for yourselves. I just realized something! If I'm to entrust everything to you, it might be best to tell you all of my future plans for the unit. Have a look at this. You mean there's more? Uh. What are you talking about? This book represents my life's work! I believe everything it contains makes me worthy of learning the secret behind Fremavia's ether reactor. Oh. Now, relax, this might take us a while. Uh, 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 Maybe if I tried losing He's the so late! Uh, doesn't he care about what this does to me? I can't go on like this! I need him here now! You don't think he likes Casadusas more than La Hiola, do you? <laughs> I'd stay there, too, especially if there were no whiny brats to put up with. Oh, yeah? I can be mean, too, Bobhead! <laughs> Bobhead? He is late. If Ernesty was only supposed to explain the Telestali to the Marquis, he should have been back sooner. You see? I was right! I'm gonna go talk to him! And if he won't come back with me, I'll drag him out of there by force! You realize how long it'll take to get there on foot? Not to mention the demon- That's what a silhouette gear is for! It can run faster than a horse, and it's got weapons to boot! I'm going with you, sis! You can't do that. Huh? Think about this. Ernesty is there at the official invitation of Marquis Dixgard. You'd need a pretty good reason to pull him out of there. Got one? Pot, meat kettle. Oh. You've been whining about losing the Telestali ever since they took it out of the shop. We know the Earl Cumber's special to you, but I've seen the way you look at the new ones. Even if I liked them. It doesn't matter. The school's duty and my individual feelings are separate. We have more than the Earl Cumber. The other one's still got a few overhauls, too. Other one? You mean where? It's already equipped with sub-arms and the new strand-type crystal tissue. It's practically a new unit. Once the overhaul's done, it won't be staying here. All new units go to the Marquis, after all. We'll have to send it to Fort Casadusis. Is that a fact? Interesting. It'll need an escort. And since those Scarlet Rabbit chumps aren't here to do the job, we'll just do it ourselves. <laughs> you won't All get right. objections from me. I was itching for another field trip anyway. <laughs> Thanks, uh, boss! You're the uh, best! Uh, <laughs> sure. Several days later near the fort, a tragedy befell the small village of Dari. <laughs> Village. Multiple dual class demon beasts on site. Weakness. The fools don't suspect a thing. Get ready to move out! It's 
been a while since we've had a war. Let's make it a good one, shall we? A demon beast attack of this scale was common in Fremivia. Ernestine and the others were oblivious to real danger outside their walls. But soon, he would be part of an event that would shake the world to its core. It's a massive disappointment! Oh, come on! The output and the response speed are the same as the Telestale. And yet, you've managed to keep the original Guerra's maneuverability intact. On top of that, it has the greatest firepower of anything at the Academy, but... I don't get to keep it. So yeah, I'm more than a little ticked off right now. It's too good for that shriveled marquee. It's fine with me. I did my job and it's damn good. Losing Guerra's a shame. But at least we're getting Caldatoas out of it. The Marquis is sending an entire company's worth. The Academy's had to rely on older model Saladreas for so long. I think it's a good trade. Hey, David! We're all packed up and ready to go. Good work! Let's move! I'm getting too old for this. What are these? The new silhouette gears. I guess Ernie found time to work on them, too. And all new units go to the Marquis. Uh, makes sense. But do you have to take Silverhair's unit with us, too? Of course we do. He can't play with us unless he has his own, silly. <laughs> Ow! What did I do? We're moving out! Open up! Edgar! D! Say hi to Ernie for me! And so, the students of Lahiala Academy set off for Fort Casadusis unaware that this trip would change their lives forever. The company of Scarlet Rabbit Knights that arrived in Dari Village culled the marauding demon beasts. As they began repair and relief efforts, a lone messenger was sent back to the fortress. Only fighting demon beasts have made these country bumpkins easy prey for us. No need to worry, the Order of the Bronze Fang won't let your death be in vain. Stay sharp, we're going in! Right! you were! It must have been bad out there! How's Daddy Village? Huh? Welcome back! Take her into repair day is three! No time for lagging. They'll know we're here soon enough. Found a boss. Take your pick. Hmm. I think I'll take the lot of them. We have to move quickly! Let's get going, boys! The other silhouette knights will get in our way. Leave nothing but scrap! <laughs>
pumpkins are quicker than I thought. It's confirmed, my lord. They stole a Caldatoa and several Telestales. <sighs> Sorry I took so long. I'm ready to help however you need. Just let me know and I'll... Silence! You are more than a simple Knight Rider student. You're the core of Silhouette Knight development and would do well to remember it. Don't do anything foolish. Deploy the Hammerwort! Uh... Knight Commander Morton Fridholm will take to the field and make the attackers regret this folly. <laughs> These rods on the back were great! I could do this all night! Don't get cocky or you'll run your mana stores dry. Time to leave this party. Don't let them out of the fort! Stop them here! Knights! Stand aside! What? Did you really think we'd let you go that easily? Stay back! This one's mine! Hot-blooded, I admire that. Surrender, you fool! You get away from her! Damn, they're fast. How are these new units stronger than Hammerwatt? I wasn't expecting that. I assumed I'd never fight them in real battle. I should have been more cautious. Go, Lady Curhills, I'll cover you! I'll leave it to you, Bacchus. Anyone who can move, follow me! I'd hope to take more presents back home, but we'll have to make do with these two. Damn it! How'd they get support here so fast? Why are Telestales out here? Keep your guard up, D. Something seems off. As Kerhilt's gang made their escape from the fortress, they unexpectedly encountered the convoy from Lyhiala. Brought together by a twist of fate, the two groups would soon clash. You there! We are Night Runners from Lyhiala Academy! We are delivering these new units for inspection at the request of the Marquis! They didn't even introduce themselves. How rude. What is the meaning of this? Explain yourself! I was never one for small talk, kid. Listen, two students shouldn't pose a problem. Let's take them down quickly. One last fight in with the goo air. Make it a good one. Shut up, Brett! That isn't how you use back weapons. Here, let me show you. Damn it, how many of these things did they make? I won't let you get away from me. Then I'll do what I must. No, you don't! You bastard! <laughs> Good work, boys! I won't let it be that easy! Edgar! You're really pissing me off. Why the rush? We've got plenty of time to play. Take a loot out, kid. Come here, let me help! Hold it! Why are you in those? What the hell do you think? We're going to back them up. Are you insane? Why I even ask? That does it. Show us up. You have skill, I'll give you that. But in the end, you still screwed up. 
You're mine now. Crap, did I do that? Are you okay? Yeah, fine. I couldn't even tell you were setting a trap. Guess you got us both fooled. Uh, oh, yeah. I said support. That means stay close. Eyes forward, hot shot. You know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this toy of yours. Seems I owe you an apology, Night Runner. I underestimated you, but I won't make that mistake again. As a token of respect, I'll end this. Don't worry, it will be as painless as possible! I need to conserve my mana if I'm going to make it back, so... Uh... For now, I'll say farewell! <laughs> surpassed all my expectations, but now that one has been stolen, we must work diligently to move beyond your success, and to better maintain the secrecy of your new developments for the foreseeable future. Therefore, I declare the creation of a new order, a group of knights who will assist in this great mission. 
Ernest E. Chevalier, I can think of no one better to command this order than you. <gasps> Thank you. I am honored. It won't be much of an order without a name, though. Silver, in honor of you. And from myself, I think Phoenix is fitting. The Order of the Silver Phoenix. I know we will do Fremavia proud. <laughs> Silver Phoenix. It's a good name. Yeah, I guess it's all right. Helvi, there's something I haven't told you about the incident yet. Hmm? What's up? The stolen Telestale. The one I fought at the end was the one made from Trandorcus. Sorry. I should have told you. It's fine. When I saw the other units, I knew they had taken mine. Uh, I see. Helvi, I promise. I'll get your partner back, even if it kills me. <sighs> They'll regret ever laying eyes on your Telestale. I'll be waiting. are something of a rarity around here. I'm quite eager to read your analysis of the unit. When should I expect it? When it's ready and not a moment before! Now if you'll excuse me, I'm far too busy for this nonsense. As I feared, this lab has been stuck in a rut for so long this project may have been too much for us. His Majesty won't be happy about this. Unless he intended for this to shake us up a bit. Stupid brat! Sucking up to the king doesn't make you cock of the walk! Gah! 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 Enjoy this while you can. Once I've figured out how to use your unit to create a new mass-produced model, your part in Silhouette Night history will just be a footnote! <laughs> I see. So he's back at Laihiala. Yes. I know you have your reservations, but we need their power. I don't need to tell you how complicated things have gotten around here. Yes. Those damn raiders didn't help matters. I've been thinking about that. I believe someone from the Occident may have sent them. The Occident is the name given to the countries west of Fremavia, which lie beyond the border of the Abin Mountains. The very thought is enraging. The only reason why they have peace is due to our constant efforts to fight off the demon beasts. The attack on Cassidus's must have been ordered by someone who's forgotten that fact. Whoever is behind this treachery, we must respond. As of now, I'm putting you in charge of the Azure Hawk. Consider it a chance to atone for your failure at the fort. Yes, 
I will, sire. Now then, I can't wait to see what young Echevalier has in store for us next. The future's looking bright indeed. As you say, sire. You're a knight, Commander? Yep. It was just made official. I'm in charge of the Order of the Silver Phoenix. But don't worry, I'll continue my studies through graduation like all the other students. That wasn't my concern. His Majesty should be sending an official notice with all of the details soon. Until then, you should know that the Academy of Night Runners and its facilities will serve as our base of operations. <sighs> That's wonderful. Right? So it's finally happened. I always said you would take over the school, but for it to happen so soon... I wasn't really thinking about it when I agreed, but... We're a knightly order. How about that? Consider yourself lucky, boss. At least you got to be there. Not me. I was stuck in the infirmary with a concussion and bedpan. He was worrying himself sick, too. I think he was afraid we wouldn't let him join. That's not true. Take it back. Things have gone from interesting to insane around here. With Ernie in charge, this is going to be one hell of a ride. Good, you're all already here. Perfect timing. How's Batson piloting a gear, Ernie? Did you do something weird? Not at all. Care to tell them what makes this design special? It's got a miniaturized Magis engine inside it. <laughs> Even someone like me can use it. But that's high-grade military tech. Where the hell did you get your hands on it? From the government. I asked for it and they gave it to me. Gave it to you? Hold on. I thought the engine was secret. Well, not as much as ether reactors. But yeah, they're not something you can just ask for. Guess the rules don't apply to Ernie. Batson's not the only one who can use the new design. Every one of the Knights in this should be able to operate them with minimal practice. You don't say. We could get twice the work done with those babies. Hey! Uh, Ernie! Big news! Really big! What the? Well, I'll be. This day just keeps getting better. Two companies of Caldatoas. The Marquis apologizes for the delay. It's no problem. Your work is impressive. I might even let you tune up the hammer warts. If that happens, you won't be disappointed. So, there's definitely no backing out of this now, is there? It's tough, but it'll be worth it. I wish you could see your face. I've never seen you so happy. Yeah! Everyone, the time has come to hit them where it hurts. Hit who where? I'll get to that. The Order of the Silver Phoenix may be new, but we've been fulfilling our nightly duty for some time now. The development of a new unit, right? Yes. His Majesty has given us the greater goal of making the best machine we possibly can. But that's not all he's done. He's issued a challenge for our Order, and I think you'll all be excited about it. In ten months, we'll have a mock battle with a unit developed by the Silhouette Knight Lab! What? Wait, you mean THE lab? We're gonna cream oh, those guys! This will be great! We'll show them what a real mech is made of! I'm glad to hear it! Now, let's make a silhouette night so amazing it'll blow the roof off the laboratory! Yeah! Building on everything we learned from the Casadusis incident, I want to make a mech that has superior speed and mobility. Makes sense. It would help a lot. Right. And this is what will help us achieve it! Uh... What the... What am I looking at? Doesn't it look like... Mm-hmm. Great, put it over there, will ya? We're only making one new unit? We have a lot of work to do in ten months. But don't worry, I'm preparing option work so it can adapt during the mock battle. What are option works? Equipment that will allow us to use new tactics. Take the flexible coat, for example. Instead of holding a rod like the back weapon subarm, this subarm will hold a protective shield instead. The possibilities are limitless! Let's take uh, it one at a time, okay? Okay. You might finally make your dream come true, Ernie. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. I only get glimpses of it. But there's a robot made just for me somewhere in my head. The new unit and the option works are all vital stepping stones towards finding it. I can't reach it in my dreams. But... When I'm awake, these hands can make all of my dreams a reality. With the new silhouette gear, the Knightsmiths could complete their work with superior speed and efficiency. 
Of course, it didn't hinder the time-honored practice of slacking off. now back down. Welcome to Lahiala Academy, students. By the order of His Majesty, all the facilities belong to the Order of the Silver Phoenix. Remember that. You are students, but you are also apprentices to our order, and we expect you to behave accordingly. Now, I'll introduce you to our commander. Say hi to Ernesty Echevalier. It's a pleasure to have you. Commander? Is this a joke? A child? She's tiny. It's a girl. You are no student. Who are you? Nora Frickberg, sir. On paper, I'm just another student, but in reality, I'm an agent of the Azure Hawk. Have there been any developments in the case? I've had all of the suspicious people in the school dealt with. I've also deployed personnel all around Lahiala and put up a barrier. Rest assured, information leaks won't happen again. But. We still don't know where the Telestale is, or who was behind its theft. We lost track of the attackers at the Aubine Mountains. So, you think it's the work of another country, is that it? Yes. Excellent work, Nora. Thank you for the report. Since espionage is your specialty, I'll leave the investigation to you. Understood, Knight Commander. She was with Ernie for an awfully long time. And I'm sure the conversation turned more than friendly. I don't like this. If that's the kind of girl that Ernie is into, then how do I compete with that? Ernie! Uh, hey, Addie. What's wrong? I want to pilot a silhouette night, too! Huh? It's great, and your timing is perfect! Really? But before we start, there's something else I'd like you to help me with first. <laughs> Okay, it's all secured. Roger, thank you. Aren't you afraid they'll get mad at us? We didn't ask if we could use this Kaldatoa. It's for new tech, they'll understand. You ready? Observe and take measurements. You got it. Okay, let's fire it up. out after that much force. That isn't what happened! The mech came grinding to a halt! The thrusters completely drained the mana pool almost instantaneously. Maybe if Bernie. I... Uh, Calm down, okay? I'm fine. It's just that... Uh, uh, this equipment won't work! It's not out of the question yet, but it will need some serious redesigns. Ernie... But that'll take months! Did you think about what just happened?! I really think it's too dangerous to build. Why don't we work on something else? Why? This wasn't a total loss. We know how much power it's capable of. I'm done thinking about what happened. I see the issues. So let's make some improvements and try this again. 
or re-examine the overall scale and output power of the spells. Then make a control system we can adjust on the fly. We can deal with the mana issues by altering the machine, then... Excuse me? Aren't you forgetting something? David is not going to be happy about this. Idiots! What were you thinking?! <laughs> I told you! You demolished a brand new Kaldatoa and nearly got yourselves killed doing it! I hope this taught you a lesson! Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, we learned a lot from this! I've already come up with some improvements we could implement easily- Then you didn't learn your lesson very well, Ernie! You're done here until you do! Got that? Yes. Wow, Ernie's so adorable when he gets sad. <sighs> you sure you want to give the kids some time off? Good point, he might get bored. Who knows what he'd do. All right, everybody, let's get back to work! Let's start on the new unit, then. For this, we'll need two night runners, and I'd like Kid and Addy to pilot. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this new mech will be a two-seater. When were you planning to tell us? I just did. Cute. This mech is unlike any before it. That includes everything from the chassis to the controls. It will be complicated to pilot, so splitting the task between two people is ideal. But it will require night runners who can work together in perfect harmony. That's why you chose Kid and Addy. Yup. <laughs> steady, steady. Okay. You're putting in two ether reactors? This thing's going to be a real monster. <laughs> in pieces. Well, it wasn't fully attached yet. Uh, I'm sorry. I goofed up. You have nothing to be sorry for, Addy. Don't get so down. It's okay, really. The size of the machine and the mana it burns are on a different level entirely. So basically, it's a giant mess. What is this? <laughs> the poor girl is covered in soot and you're all just standing around. Let's get you clean. I needed that. But I feel bad being out here while the others are working. Well, stop it. We're night runners. They don't need us for their grunt work. So relax and let the sweat wash away. Oh, you should have invited Ernie. It would be perfect. Hold on. You're way too young to be bathing with a guy. Oh, please. You don't think I know that? Of course I wouldn't. But Ernie isn't a guy. Uh? Ernie is just Ernie. Oh, uh, I see. Why are we cleaning up this mess? Even knights do the grunt work. Edgar! Hmm? There's something I'd like you to see. For you. Okay, what's it for? You can use it as a weapon, but it's for your mech. I had a special emblem graph imprinted onto the dagger's blade. It matches the emblem graph on the depression inside the slot. How clever. It's a key for the unit. Right. I'm hoping it'll help prevent thefts. Without the dagger, no one can pilot this mech. That's wonderful. I think that the Casadusus incident will be the last of its kind. Yep. And so, the Order of the Silver Phoenix and Silhouette Night Laboratory completed their mechs. <laughs> Only three days remained until the mock battle. The excitement was palpable. Well, I've got to hand it to you, Silver. It's a work of art. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Now, let's show the lab what we're made of! The king wanted the best? Then that's exactly what we'll give him! Yeah! yeah! So 
they summoned the Aruvans for this little demonstration. Only the finest night runners would do. Anything less would be an insult to and the king. And speaking of the finest, I am proud to introduce the next generation mass production unit created by the Silhouette Night Laboratory to lead our fair kingdom of Fremavia into a bright and glorious future. Though they are based on the Telestale, I have personally improved them in almost every aspect. They may look like the Kaldatoa, but our Darsh is a completely new machine. We've decreased the amount of strand-type crystal tissue as compared to the Telestale, so the power output compared to the original model is... <clears throat> Only a humble 30% greater. 30? That's incredible. <laughs> However, we've also added an additional capacity blame, which not only serves to improve the unit's defense, but also solves the rapid drain on the mana pool. We've even added two silhouette arms to the back of the frame to hold the rod. As a result, the weapon is more mobile, easier to control, and therefore more effective at crushing any and all opposition, making this the greatest creation our lab has ever produced. Splendid work. I've come to expect great things from the laboratory, and you haven't disappointed. Your reputation as the finest knightsmith in the country is well-deserved, Master Geitzka. You honor me, your majesty. And now, lords and ladies, you've come to see the Darsh in action, and what better way to test a silhouette knight than with a worthy opponent? I'm sure by now, you've all heard of the one who made the silhouette knight the Darsh is based on. The group who, by my command, have formed a new knightly order. Enter! Order of the Silver Phoenix! Those footsteps are awfully bizarre. some twisted joke. Oh, an interesting design choice. This new commander breaks the rules even more than I'd heard. Our new option works, and the Guerre Custom, as commanded. The Silver Phoenix has arrived!
horse and rider. Interesting design. This might actually be challenging. It explains why the ambassador recruited us. I thought fighting a bunch of kids would be boring as hell, but this might be fun. I'm sure you're wondering who that young man is. He's commander of the Order of the Silver Phoenix and the brains behind these new units. May I present the renowned Ernest de Echevalier. The child? Surely that can't be him. He developed the newest silhouette knight in a century? The boy must be a bona fide genius. He looks barely out of diapers. That's quite enough. These valiant warriors didn't travel all this way to hear the prattling of old men. Warriors, prepare for combat. <laughs> I think His Majesty wants to see the fight more than anybody. Despite the uneven numbers, the match was deemed fair due to the Silver Phoenix's unique designs. Ernesti's four units would be pitted against all six of the Kaldatoa Darshas. Strategy would decide the victor. So like in standard practice, one mounted rider is worth the same as three infantry units. But that's for humans, not mechs. And they're all using enhanced telestales to boot. We'll have a major disadvantage. I can't wait uh, to see what the laboratory engineers did with the telestales design! Oh! Let's ask him for a ride later! I shouldn't be surprised this doesn't face you, and yet... So, uh, how do you want us to fight these guys? Should we take three of them at the same time? Yeah, about that. I think I have an idea. Hello, beautiful. Looks like Fremavia's been up to some amazing things. I'll have to play catch up. Prince Emerus! This whole area is about to be a war zone. We should get out of here. It's my first day home and a party's about to start. You're not gonna make me miss it. Come on, don't make me beg. Are both sides prepared? Begin! Move! Second platoon, you take the rider! Roger! Don't be afraid, it's three against one! The bigger they are! We'll handle it the same as any demon beast! Activating Magius Jet Thruster. Deploy from sword position. Initiate air intake. <laughs> Out of the fight. 
I need to let it rest and recharge. They'll just have to make do without me. It hit! We lost some armor! Hang in there! They already adapted to its speed. Truly, they are the best the Arubans have to offer. If you pretend it's a demon beast, it's easy to handle. These kids are nothing. Show them how wrong they are! Ugh, I've never seen such precise swordplay. Hmm. Interesting. The Silver Phoenix may have more power at their disposal. But my Darsh is balanced and easy to maneuver. The Arubans are living up to their reputation. One wrong move and it's all over. Your silhouette knight is wild and untamed. It takes all your focus to control it. Which means, the longer you're in combat, the more your own mech starts to work against you. The laboratory's machines are steady and firm, while the Silver Phoenixes are diamonds in the rough. It's like watching a brawl between a trusted stallion and a bucking bronco. Will the tried and true method yield victory, or is the future to be paved by the reckless? Eddie, let's go at these guys head on! You got it! Billion, they're coming! Let them! I'll hit them with everything I have left! What? Come on, don't give up on me now! Idra! Quickly while he's slowing down! Do it! Understood! Well, how rude! I take one break and you forget about me! The same trick won't work twice! Then how about a new one? You don't stand a chance when I'm serious! like that, or am I hallucinating? Now it's game over! <laughs> That's enough! I've seen what I need. The new units are exemplary. That was a splendid battle. Night Runners, I salute you all. The boy, what's his name? I think it's Ernesty Eshevalier, Your Highness. <laughs> what an interesting kid. If you hadn't drained your mana, I'd be through. We should use the same mech so it's an even fight next time. No. I didn't lose because of the machine. I just lack experience. Humility's a virtue. But there's nothing wrong with taking a compliment from a fellow Nightrunner. Oh, thank you very much. Darn it. Not one kill. I took out two, so I'm happy. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I saw. Good work. <laughs> Ernesty a Chevalier! Hmm? <sighs> 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 Who's that? Don't know. He looks like a laboratory nightsmith. <laughs> How does that knight and rider model even function? How do all four legs work in unison despite the unit's large frame? What kind of secret are you hiding? Answer me! <gasps> <gasps> Excellent question! It's quite simple, actually. I added a second ether reactor to compensate. Yes! Two reactors would explain it quite clever. But how did you make the blue one attain such incredible speed and maneuverability? And the white one, what was that metallic wire it shot from its wrist? I call them Magius Jet Thrusters. That's how the toy box is capable of such high speed. And as for the lightning flail, if you like, I can send the silhouette gear that was the basic model to the lab so you can play with it. Oh, I'd appreciate it. Oh, There's no stopping him. He's on a roll. Should have known 
Bernie wasn't the only mech enthusiast around. Maybe this is what he'll look like in the next 80 years. It looks like things turned out just as your majesty had hoped. No one can deny Ernesty's designs are revolutionary, but they are far too unpolished. Unless it is refined, even the greatest ore cannot show its true value. So Ernie is your ore, and you want the lab to do the polishing? To refine their prototypes, make them practical? I'm counting on you, Olver. Someday, perhaps soon, we'll be taking him to the village. I'll be sure to let them know. After all, that's why you keep me around. <laughs> that was have fun, Chief Bernie! I'll come, come to your, to your lab someday so we can talk more! <laughs> Young brats, don't count me out! I still won't let you beat me! To think there was still this kind of passion within me, I thought the fire had burned out long ago. Things didn't slow down after the mock battle had ended. Two months passed, and the lab finished polishing the Kalatoa Darshas, giving birth to the Kalatol, the new mass production model. Meanwhile, the Silver Phoenix developed the Zendo Limbo, a one-person version of the Zendo, further enhancing the mech's fighting power. Then just get back real hard! It's easy! Sorry, can we take a break? Hey, sorry old timers, didn't mean to keep you waiting. I was training the knights and things got a little passionate. Think a couple of them may have soiled their armor. Were they slacking off while I was away or am I just that good? <laughs> Whew, that cow toll though, it's a hell of a toy. Any chance I can get one of those just for me? Amorous, sit down and shut up, boy. I hope they taught you more than how to run your mouth in Kushpercha. Otherwise, Martina and I will have a little talk of our own. Enough. I called you here for a reason. Let's get to it. I've been king of our fair country for nearly four decades. I don't know about you, but that's long enough for me. I'm leaving the throne to Leo Thomas effective immediately. Grandpa. In the western year of 1280, Ambrosius, the Lion King, gave up his long rule and bequeathed the throne of Fremavia to his son, Leo Thomas. In the same year, at Lahiala Academy, I can't believe we've graduated. It barely feels like any time has passed. I'm just surprised they didn't kick all of us out. Yeah, all we did was cause trouble and skip classes. They're probably glad to finally be rid of us. Thanks, Lahiala Academy. We'll always be in your debt. After their graduation, Ernesty and the Order of the Silver Phoenix were relocated to the newly constructed Fort Orobesius to continue their nightly mission. But soon afterwards... A, a summon from the capital? Great, you made it! Guess good things really do come in small packages. I suppose they do. I didn't expect you to be here. It's an honor. I heard you were studying in Kushpercha. Is there a reason you're back in Fremavia so soon? My old man's warming the throne now. Seem like a good reason to come back home? Please, time is wasting. I know you're busy, Ernesty. But I need a custom silhouette knight made, and I'd like you to design it for me. I'd be happy to, Your Grace. But I thought you already had the Rita Solvila. It's an amazing unit in its own right. Why would you need a new one? That is the King's silhouette knight. He became Leo Thomas's the moment he ascended to the throne. I may be retired, but with no silhouette knight, I can't entertain myself. And after your remarkable accomplishments, I know there's no one better suited to the task. In that case, make one for me while you're at it. Uh, uh, <clears throat> would it be possible for you to make two of them? It won't be a problem. So, what kind of mechs would you like them to be? That's easy. Everyone knows the most important trait is power. Right. Then power. Okay. Followed by power. I see. He's a muscle head. Any preference on how it looks? The sky is the limit. Super strong. Uh, like a lion. People should think of Gramps when they see it. Will that work for you, Your Grace? It should do nicely. As long as it's not too unbalanced. Do what you like. Understood. I promise. 
promise these new units won't disappoint. They will be worthy of your nobility. He's got that look again. Ernesty returned to Orobesius filled with excitement and immediately began to work on the royal silhouette knights for Ambrosius and Emerus. The seasons passed in the blink of an eye. The units were completed and brought to Kankunan. Oh, wow! I'm proud to present the Gold Leo and Jill Batiga! As requested, the units are incredibly powerful, both in offensive and defensive capabilities. They should serve you well and keep you safe. Both of you are important to Framavia, so only the best will do. <laughs> They're even better than I was hoping. A golden lion and a silver tiger. I see. Well then, in that case... I'll take this one. Come on. You can't handle a flashy one like this. You're not exactly the vision of youth anymore. I'm aware. I'm equally aware of your inexperience, boy. A cub has to earn the right to be called a lion, and you haven't done that yet. That's so. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll show you everything I learned at Kush Percha. You intend to take it with a show of force? Very well, boy. I'll put you in your place. I'm so confused. They're both muscle heads. Shouldn't you be taking a nap, old timer? Better show me some respect, lad. You're not too old for me to spank you. Part of me wants to stop them, but I'm kind of afraid to. Mm -hmm. Have at you! <laughs> Difference in appearances. 
The Jewel Petit and Gold Leo are on equal footing, yes? Yes, sir, in every way. It didn't make sense to build one stronger than the other. Very good. I'll make you proud, Gramps! <laughs> Hold on. This was his plan all along. Whether he won or lost, the Prince would still be better off. Send a rider immediately. The King's Conference was brought to a halt when a messenger arrived with dire news. It just came in from Algisale Gap, marked top secret class one. Spotted a horde of shell cased bearing will put them at Alfheim. To Alfheim? Have they formed a defensive line? The Aruvans are in position and will defend it with their lives if needed. Shellcased, a type of demon beast whose body is covered in a powerful shell. Similar to a bee or ant hive, each colony is led by a queen, who also keeps the population growing. In rare cases, another queen will be born into the horde. When that happens, the horde splits and seeks out new territory. This time, unfortunately, one of the newly formed hordes was heading straight for Framavia's most secret and vital facilities. Everything was at stake. What I'm about to tell you is highly classified. The shell cased are headed straight for Alfheim. It's where our most important technology, ether reactors, are made. <gasps> the ether reactor is a device that takes an ether from the air and converts it into mana. You could say it's the heart of a silhouette knight. If Alfheim is destroyed, what happens to us? We're done. Same for the whole kingdom. It will be impossible for Fremavia to make any more Silhouette Knights. I can't allow that to happen! No! We can't allow it! Every showcase will be destroyed! Silver Phoenix! Roll out! He's so intense, it's kind of scary. on us. We'll buy them time, and if we fall, we'll do it safeguarding our country's future. That's right. Let us die like night runners. <laughs> Reinforcements? I'll be. The Order of the Silver Phoenix has arrived! Addy, we need to break through that line of shell case at full speed. Roger. Let's give him hell, kid. Company, prepare to let loose. We're clearing a path for the commander. Light them up! That's incredible. We might just survive this mess. Howling! 
Sophia! What? My mana pool's almost gone! Of course it is. Where do you think all that power came from? Ernestine, uh, leave this to us. You find the shell-cased queen. Kick her off her throne. Consider it done, your grace! Dietrich! Take those things down! <laughs> you got it! Second company! Charge! Sir! I love this. Pure mobility combined with the power to wield two swords. Gwer Linda's everything Gwer was and more. Shoot at me all you want, insects! You'll never break through Earl till it comes for shield! So the new white and crimson units are Edgar and Dietrich. They look totally different than they did during the mock battle. We're not letting those two show us up! Get in there and wreck shop! We've turned the tide of the battle. If we can defeat the Queen, the remaining beast will be easy prey. Good luck, Commander. So we're meeting a fancy queen, huh? <laughs> Hope she's easy on the eyes. Don't make me slap you in front of Ernie. Focus! Switch to the Type 3s! Roger! Roger. This Type 3 equipment should shred through these bugs like paper, right? Yes, thanks to the power of the toy box. It's carrying two ether reactors, just like the original Zendolk unit. Of course, I'm not sure if I'm using it to its full potential. I just loaded it with all my favorites without giving it any real thought. Sounds like every toy box I've ever heard of. Huh? Ah! Hey! What's your problem?
There's nothing wrong with having them owe us a favor. Thanks, Edgar. Guess it didn't take long for you to outgrow the rest of us. Not true. It's the same as the mock battle. If you'd been piloting these units, it would have been over before we got here. Hm. You mean it? You defeated a behemoth and a queen shell cased on your own. Not to mention all of the new mechs you've built for us. It would be wrong to require any more of you. You fulfilled your end of our agreement. The secret construction method for the ether reactor will now be yours. Ah! I'm ready, sir! Tell me everything! Sorry. Only those who live in Alfheim Village know the process. And only the Guardian Ambassador may grant permission for entry into their sacred village. Who's that? Uh... Alfheim Village owes you a great debt. So do not worry. It would be quite rude of us not to welcome you with open arms. In accordance with our laws, I will take you there. Beyond these gates, any form of weapon is forbidden. By the way, Ernesty, I have a question. I was wondering how old you think I am. I would guess mid to late 20s? Not even close. As a matter of fact, I'll be 87 this year. Uh. My people descend from the secret ones, and magic itself is our legacy. We elves prefer quiet places, much like Alfheim. There are some, like myself, who become ambassadors to the changing ones in the outside world. But we're considered strange by other races' standards. Still, they seem content enough to let us make ether reactors for their military. As for the secret, I don't know it. I'll take you to one who does, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Because... I don't care! I'll hear it all! Research it all! Take it all apart! Reassemble it! And if it doesn't work, I'll try again! If it still doesn't work, that's when I'll decide to give up! But until then, I'll give it everything I've got! <laughs> I told you he wouldn't be swayed. The passion for his hobby is too great. Yes, I can see that now. He wouldn't even let me finish. I was about to tell you that only elves can construct ether reactors. But I doubt that would detour you. Why do so many elves live in secret villages instead of going out in the world? We can get quite lazy. It's a result of our longevity. See, for my people, it's common to reach 500. Huh. Uh. For the first hundred years or so, elves are no different than the changing ones. But after two or even three hundred years of life, our drive and interest in the world diminishes. Instead, we spend our time in rest and reflection. Elder Kidley, it's been too long. Not as far as I'm concerned. Though it does amaze me how old you've grown since our last meeting. <laughs> the murmurs of evil have vanished. I'm told you and your knights are responsible. You have my faith. No need. We were merely acting according to the law. Who is to know the secret ways? This young man here. I'm Ernest Dia Chevalier, Elder! Impossible. No changing one has been able to grasp the knowledge before. Unfortunately, you are only human. Time is your predator. It will claim you long before you comprehend the complexities of our art. I think he might surprise you. This young man made a silhouette knight move without a Magia's engine, and single-handedly defeated the Queen Shell case. Without him, there would be no secret left to share. Is this true? Uh, yes. In accordance with the laws between our peoples, I shall grant your request. All the knowledge you desire will be yours, along with our gratitude. I'm grateful. Though, to be honest, I can't help thinking I backed you into a corner. I forget how impetuous you humans can be. We share knowledge for the same reason you protect us. We see value in one another. 
So, what would you like to hear first? All of it! Down to the smallest detail! Don't leave anything out! Very well. An ether reactor is, at its core, the heart of a living thing. It absorbs the ether in the air around it and converts it into mana. What makes this exchange possible is the catalyst crystal. Without it, the reactor may as well be rock. Hold on a second. I thought they changed mana to magic power. Yes, that's true. But under special conditions, they can also turn ether into mana. However, two things are needed for that. The first is a special script, and the other is blood. Real blood? Not anymore, thankfully. Though it's said that the original ether reactors were giant silver vessels carved with vast emblem graphs and filled with the blood of living things. They were impressive, yes, but had no practical use. Then an ancient sage made a breakthrough. He used what we now call alchemy to create this elixir. A small amount is all that's needed. Think of it as artificial blood. Next is the magical script. We use an incantation to carve the pulse of life into the reactor. Almost like a poem. It's for that reason. We call it the Life Song. But the Life Song's enormous size couldn't be altered. The silver vessel required to hold it was larger than the silhouette night it was supposed to run. Then another breakthrough was made. We replaced the vessel with a high-density metal, mithril. It's so incredibly durable, even the dwarves' master smiths couldn't mold it. But in the hands of us elves, well, look. Oh! It's completely solid. Indeed, we learned that Mithril responds to a certain type of magic. It transforms into something soft and pliable, like clay. Uh, do you mean... Hmm. There are catalyst crystals inside us, like the demon beasts. We elves can use magic at will from the moment we are born. This ability is the reason only the elves are capable of constructing an ether reactor. Thus, we used our gift to refine and mold Mithril as we saw fit. If you tried, it would prove to be impossible. Changing ones lack the power to weave the life song and use magic at the same moment. About the ether reactor, how is the power output determined? The size of the catalyst crystal and the efficiency of the etheric transformation. Catalysts are taken from demon beasts and vary in size depending on the host. The bigger and more powerful the demon beast, the bigger and more efficient the crystal. Hence, more power. I didn't think it was that simple. It is, though that's where the simplicity ends. Tuning them is extremely difficult, so we used mined crystals for mass production units. They tend to be less powerful, but they are far more stable and safe. If mass production is the goal, it makes perfect sense. But let's say you wanted to create your own unique special silhouette knight. You would have to use something else, right? Something like a huge catalyst crystal taken from one of the biggest demon beasts you could find. Your former highness? I know just the demon beast that qualifies. I'd be eternally grateful if you'd let me use the behemoth for my personal project. I think we can come to some arrangement. But only the elves can create the reactor for you. It could take some time before they're free to. I've already got an idea that I think will solve everything. Very well. The victories were yours to begin with. The hearts of the behemoth and queen shell cased are yours to use as you wish. <sighs> In order to master the Aether Reactor's creation method, Ernesty would remain in Alfheim. Ambrosius informed the Order of the Silver Phoenix. However... What do you mean, Ernie's staying here? Can I stay too, please? He is our commander. We should be at his side. Please, Your Grace, give us permission to stay at the fort. Do as you like. It's not as if you'd listen if I told you otherwise, right? Yeah! yeah. Ernie studied. What was once only a dream was almost within his reach. His passion and the speed at which he absorbed the secret knowledge was so astounding, even the owls were amazed. The great elder said Ernie couldn't learn their secrets in a lifetime, but he mastered them after only three months. Thank you for everything! It's intriguing. You're a changing one. Yet you see the laws of existence through completely different eyes. Uh. If you live as long as I suspect you will, we shall meet again. Ha <laughs> ha!
Seduces? It's entirely possible. Understood. If the rumors turn into fact, please let me know immediately. Uh, uh, I assume you're looking for Commander Ernesty? Inside. Uh, <laughs> hold on! The two of you talk an awful lot, and in secret. If you have something to tell him, you should go through his aides, like me! Uh, Don't worry, sweetie. I have no romantic interest in Ernesty, I just report to him. I'm Nora Frickberg of the Azure Hawk. I'm a spy on an important mission. That mission just happens to involve Ernesty. My information is vital and must be shared privately. You're the only person I've told any of this to other than the Commander himself. Keep it a secret. Guess who? Hey! I know that it's you, Addie! Now quit, I'm doing delicate work here! You've been cooped up for too long, let's have fun somewhere! You know, you're right! Let's invite Kid and Bat, too! Uh, not what I had in mind... Finally! Slowly, you clods! Scratch it and you die! And outtake pipes attached and secured, boss. The silver nerves are ready to go. Thanks, great work. <laughs> Primary converter reactor, Queen's Coronet. On, all clear. Now firing up Behemoth's heart. Activation confirmed. Mana intakes to all parts clear. No errors. Adjust range of motion and output margins. Reactor ratios. 2% and up. All values stable. Now is the moment that I've waited for. Awaken my partner, Ikaruga! My valiant black knights, you are the pride of the Zalodek Kingdom! I am thrilled beyond measure to share this moment with you. Remember it well. Long ago, these western lands were ruled as one nation, with one king presiding over all. The name of that kingdom was Fada Abaddon. Today, we are all that remains of that great legacy, which means the west is our birthright! The time has come! We will reunite this land, and any who oppose us will be crushed underfoot! On this day in history, Carlitos built Zalodek, eldest son of Bardomelo, king of Zalodek, declared war on the surrounding nations of the Occident. It was the beginning of what future generations would come to know as the Western Grand Storm. Certain the Lokar Federation would hold out longer than a mere month. The Federation is just a collection of tiny nations. They're no match for Zalodek's might. Even so, it should have taken longer than a month to overcome them. I agree. 
Something must have happened in Zalodek to embolden them. Something that would quickly enhance their power and drive them to ambition. In any case, they'll be coming here soon. Shield Trider's defenses must be reinforced! So it's true? Uh, Eleonora. I heard the servants gossiping. They said that war is practically at our gates. There's no need to concern yourself, my dear. Shield Trider's walls have always stood strong. We'll send those invaders home in stitches. Thank you for that, Father. I'm sorry for worrying. The rooms are totally different! Where'd they get this power?! What the...? Look out! Using the Toronto, Zalodek's new cutting-edge silhouette knight, the Black Knights broke through the Kingdom of Kushpercha with brutal efficiency. But then the war took an unexpected turn. Zalodek's rapid advance, which had gone virtually unopposed, suddenly halted outside the mighty walls of Shield Trider. There, they waited, silent as death. When King Augusty of Kushpercha learned of this development, he gathered his forces at Shield Trider. Here, they hoped they could finally turn the tide of battle. It's time, Mardonis. Indeed, Highness. I wish I could see their faces as they realized their fate. What? What are those? Buzzards? No, wait! Black ships coming from the skies! Incoming! <laughs> like pigs to the slaughter they come. The Kushpurchins are more foolish than I thought. If they had known about our Levitate ships, I doubt they would have gathered here. Attention, proud order of the Bronze Wing. This is Cristobal. Tonight we'll feast in the halls of Shield Trider. Show them the meaning of fear. All Night Runners to position! We'll be dropping the Taranto shortly. Blow engines! Full reverse! Augusti Valio Kuspercha, King 
and defender of this realm. In accordance with the ancient ways, I request a duel with your commander. I am Cristobal, son of King Bartomelo of Zalatec. And I accept your challenge, old man. Well, let's go. of strength and pride for so long fell to Zalodek's might. Kush Percha is no more. The Occidents are as good as mine now. Cristobal has taken to commanding well, it would seem. Yes, but he cannot be trusted with politics. Don't fail me, sister. Leave it to me, dear brother. We're close to the Duchy's territory. Once we cross the river, we'll be safe. We'd be there now if it weren't for those ships, but no, they have to buzz around us like gadflies in a pigsty. Such undignified words. What would Emerus say if he heard you? What are you waiting for? Give them a good wacky, Sadula. <laughs> Why'd you stop? Checkpoint. <laughs> I suppose these delicate flowers are nothing but farmhands, huh? Either way, you might as well turn back. There are no relatives left to help. The duchy is under Zaladek's control, and Duke Fernando is dead. I saw his head roll personally. How dare you! Let go of her! Oh my. For the wife of a farmer, your arms are surprisingly gentle. Isn't that right, Princess Martina? something wrong? That checkpoint flag, it's not Kush Percha. Huh? A carriage? Uh, no! What is that? Excuse me! We are the Silver Phoenix Merchants Association. We have trade goods and rare trinkets from over the mountain. As if we believe that! What kind of merchants use a monstrous carriage like that for simple trading? There are lots of demon beasts beyond the mountains. Conventional covered wagons simply won't do the job. Enough! Be quiet! Don't move! We're searching you and your cargo! Looks like the rumors had merit. Something's wrong here. Yeah, my old man's usually right about these things. You'll have to excuse my ignorance. I don't recognize that flag. Is it Kush Perchin? Kusparja is long gone! This checkpoint and everything beyond it 
belongs to the kingdom of Saladek. Well, young master, you heard him. Curse Perch is gone. There's no point in wasting my time with the likes of you. Howling! They just broke through with a single strike! No, that's not nice, young master. That's just diplomacy. Let's put our best foot forward. If you don't mind, Ikarugo will join the fun! It's your grand debut, so let's show them what you can do! Zaladek got so strong. Are you talking silhouette uh, knights? You can't talk robots uh, without me around. Now let's see. You guessed right, though. The technology used in this unit is the same as the Telestale. And I think we all know where it came from. They stole Helvi's Trant Dorcas. It didn't deserve that. So the thieves from Casadusus were connected to Zaladek somehow. Unforgivable. Don't worry, they'll get their comeuppance. At least we know what happened to the Trandorcus. And since they're obviously stealing our ideas, it's safe to assume this unit is ours too. Which means it's okay for us to take it. What? <laughs> Hold on. That's not very knightly. Let's think about it. <laughs> I wouldn't expect any less from old Silverhair. Fess up. You want to take a peek at the enemy mech too, don't you, boss? You're damn right. What's the plan, young master? Well, we're merchants, right? So, we'll stick to our business and beat the living crap out of anybody who stands in our way. That sounds good. Maybe I'll actually get to fight. What is our business exactly? What do all merchants want? Lots and lots of product! <laughs> Shortly afterwards, soldiers in the Zalodek army began to whisper of a monstrous horse and rider that buried the Grim Reaper himself. He wore a demon mask and hunted along the eastern road. Let's get one thing straight, Princess. I'm not here out of concern. And I don't like small talk. So I'll just get straight to the point. You're going to be my wife. End of story. No, I won't! You think you have a choice? If you try my patience, I'll drug you until you comply. And if you keep acting up, I'll just kill you and make the other girl my queen. Your choice. Isadora, you can't! Father, I need you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do! <sighs> what a pathetic girl. How can I punish her if she won't fight back? You're not calling off the wedding, your highness. I'm not that stupid. If I throw a wrench in my sister's plan, I may as well slit my throat. What's your take on the rumors of late? This demon-masked reaper? Probably just Kush Persian rebels causing mischief. They'll vanish eventually. Take them out, or I'll do it myself! No, Highness, you mustn't! You shouldn't involve yourself with such trivial matters. It would only validate their rebellion. If it's trivial, you shouldn't have a problem crushing them. <sighs> Damn it all. What am I to do about this, Prince? Sounds like you're in quite the rough spot. I wouldn't mind getting involved. 
You're sending that idiot son of yours to look for the rebels? I can watch his back, keep him safe. If what I've heard about the Bronze Fang is true, I would welcome your help. Very well. I'll find this Reaper for you, and once I have, you can swoop in and kill it. Not a bad deal, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Thanks to reports from Nora of the Azure Hawk, the Silver Phoenix found out about Princess Eleonora's plight and was moved to action. <laughs> Guy wishes was Cristobal's face! A death that quick would be way too merciful! If he lays one finger on her, we won't let him! <laughs> Now finish up, because we've got a princess to rescue! Just as Ernesty was putting his plan into motion, Zalodek's army deployed levitate ships to locate and destroy him. Ugh, seriously? Yes, just like the Bronze Order said. So those are the riders carrying the Grim Reaper, eh? Supposedly they have a powerful knight with them as well. But I doubt they'll prove a challenge. After today, I, Gustav Mardones, will be known as the man who conquered death. Captain D! Two flying ships approaching! Didn't think it was possible, but I guess Ernie's not the only person who can make crazy machines like that. Pretty sure that crest is Zalodek, too. That rules out any chance that they're friendly. Prepare for a long-range assault, boys! We shoot first! Light up the sky! I guess they're not intimidated by the levitate ships. They might actually be a challenge. I'm sending out the Silhouette Knights. We'll finish them with our blades. Copycat mechs. You black knights are nothing but cowardly thieves. I have no reason to fear you. But you have every reason to fear our wrath. Prepare to meet your maker! He's totally different than those Kush parts and training dummies. You blocked it, not bad. But no matter how thick your armor, it can't match a behemoth. <laughs> Get out of here, weaklings! The glory for this kill belongs to me! What the hell, man? Think you have enough swords? What's the point of that? Why else would I have this many? Swords are strong. Therefore, the more I have, the stronger I'll be. It's logic. Oh, I get it. You're just some massive idiot. You have a nice pair of blades, too. But they won't help! None who face the swordsman survive! He might be an idiot, but he's got skill. <laughs> so slow! Come on! You might as well be standing still! I'm already bored, so I think I'll finish you off. It does look like I'm at a disadvantage here, but you're all alone. Singing your goons away was a bad move, huh? What, did you think all I did was haul that carriage around? Think again, creep. Uh, damn you! You'll pay for that! Where'd that smoke bomb come from? What are you trying to pull? <sighs> Till next time. Wait! <sighs> Shoot them down! Hey, Crimson! You are not bad! Honor demands a rematch, so don't die until then! Those flying ships are cheating. Not to mention a major problem. If we'll be dealing with them from now on, Ernesty will have to make an effective countermeasure. <sighs> Never thought I'd see Gustav the Sword Lover put up against a wall. That smoke bomb was you, wasn't it? How long have you been here? <laughs> Couldn't say. I don't need help! Oh, so that withdrawal was strategic? I'll thank you this time. But it won't happen again. <laughs>
The merchant city of Fontenay was once a beacon of prosperity. But sadly, once it fell to Zelodek's army, the Radiant City vanished and was replaced by cold desolation. I hardly recognize the place. Last time I was here, every day was like a festival. The Silver Phoenix! Source through the night. Snuck in separately. How's our product coming along, Nora? They're ready and waiting, young master. You all know what to do. The royal family suffered long enough. Let's roll out! Young master, can you keep up? Yeah, this is easy. <laughs> Think nothing of it, Highness. According to intel, the princess is being kept in the top floor of a tower in that castle. Hold on. There are four towers. Security was so tight I couldn't find out which one she was in, sadly. So I guess that gives us a one in four chance. Yeah. But to be safe, we'll hit all four towers at once. I'm telling you, they were out to here. Damn. Which part was this? Nora, we'll need an escape route. Consider it done. Go in hard and get out fast. Roger! All right. right. <laughs> Sorry for the intrusion. I'm guessing you're Lady Martina? You are? I mean you no harm. The opposite, in fact. I'm Ernest de Chevalier, Knight Commander of the Order of the Silver Phoenix. Considering your wild entrance and calm disposition, I assume that you're from my homeland. You should be rescuing the princess, not me. Hey, what was that racket? Please, don't worry. My friends will have her soon. In that case, lead the way. Who the hell are you? Sir Knight, shall we go? I'm sorry if this gets a little rough. Now hold on tight! Cousin Reese! Oh, is it you or am I dreaming? Hey now, no waterworks. We still have to get out of here. Come on, I'll carry you. Okay! <laughs> ah, ah, ha. Have no fear, the Order of the Silver Phoenix is... Uh. Of course, I hit the one in four. Uh, How's it going? I'm looking for the princess. Is that you by any chance? It is. And you are? My name is Arkid. I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? Who sent you? Uh, sorry, there's no time. You'll just have to trust me. Uh, even if we manage it, what will we do after we escape? Huh. My homeland is all but a memory now. There's no one I can rely on. Even if I go with you, I have nothing left. Please leave me be. I won't tell anyone about you, just go. What? No way. It'll be all right. You have lots of people you can count on. I just know it. Now let's bust out of here and defeat the Zalodek, okay? I don't have that kind of strength, no real power to speak of. You do! The fact I'm here proves that. You have the power to drive people to action, the same way you moved me. You just have to use it. You believe that? Sure do. And from now on, you have us. We'll protect you, I swear it. I'm not worthy of being protected by anyone. If people were to suffer because of me, I couldn't live with it. Come on! I don't get it. Why do you think this way? If they're willing to fight for you, you should trust that. Huh? Princess? I am Arcade Alter, and from this day forward, I am your knight. I will take up my sword for you and fulfill my duty. My lady, I await your order. 
Name it and I will see it done at once. Okay, will you take me from this place, my knight? You bet. might prove fun. These rodents will no doubt head east to make their escape. Yes, of course! <laughs> there are no Kushpurchin remnants to the west. Clever. Also, there's that so-called Order of the Reaper. They've been operating out of the east as well. It's possible they're involved, and if so, this could prove hazardous. You sound worried. Do you lack faith in this ship, my lord? Surely your design can withstand a few raiders. Oh no! If they defeat us, it won't be the fault of my dear Levitate ship or its brilliant design, General. On the contrary, it will be the fault of the bloated fool commanding it. That's you. <laughs> Truthfully, I'm teeming with excitement. These raiders could be worthy. Unlike the rabble we fought so far, we can use them to test the true might of my creation! <laughs> Drink up, men! The ether is fine! The next day, the levitate ship of Doloteo Mardones found the Order of the Silver Phoenix and quickly intercepted them. Prepare Tarantos for launch! Helm, move us directly above them. Heads up, guys! That must be what Dee told us about! I can't believe they already found us! Damn flying ships! It's so wonderful! <sighs> it's not a blimp or a balloon, but an actual ship that sails through the sky! Beautiful! But how did they even come up with it? I have the advantage of knowledge they can never possess, and yet they have somehow carved themselves a path in the sky! It's too much! I have to stay up close! What the? Something's coming at us! Is it a projectile? No, it's too big. Ah! It's him! The demon! Ah! It's more incredible than I hoped! It uses wind magic as a source of propulsion. So innovative! But that shouldn't be enough to keep its weight airborne. How do they compensate? I have so many questions now! That mech just flew! It wasn't launched, it actually flew! Somebody other than myself used a completely different design philosophy and accomplished it without sails or air magic? General, I need to see more! Shake that bastard off! Ah! Die, monster! Torontos have been wiped out! Put everything into the engines! Take us back to Fontany! Not yet! I haven't gotten a good look at it! It's really flying! <laughs> How dare it try to encroach on my sky! <laughs> yes, where are you going? All right then, but you haven't seen the last of me, airship! is mine, mine, and no one else's. I claimed it. Whoever you are, you'll soon learn how reckless it is to try and take it from me. The next time we meet, it will be your end. The Western Grand Storm would be one of history's most notorious conflicts, and the genius of both Ernesty and Lord Kojas would be at the core of it all. Why even bother coming back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, your highness. That's quite enough barbarism. It's turning my stomach. 
<sighs> There's no way those Kush Perchin mutts pulled off something so brazen. So who did this? The Eleven Flags, or maybe those weaklings from the Lokar Federation? I'm afraid our adversary won't be as easy to deal with as they were. Why is that? They were monsters. Two of their silhouette knights were like a horse and rider racing down the road at incredible speeds while pulling large chariots. And inside the chariot is the true terror. A demonic knight wreathed in flame flying on wings of death. What sort of nonsense are you spouting now? A flying silhouette knight? That's impossible. I assure you it isn't. I saw it darting around like a gadfly myself. My levitate ship could do nothing but run. It was upsetting. Duke Fernando's wife and daughter were among the royals who fled. The Duchess hails from beyond the mountains to the east. She's the daughter of Ambrosius, the former king of Fremavia. <laughs> the Beast Guards. That would explain a lot. But it won't stop me from making Eleonora my wife. And if they resist, I'll wipe Fremavia off the map! Ernesti's knights met up with the rest of the Order at Nusheri, a relay station on the old Kushperchen Highway. Welcome back! That was exhausting! That was easy. Don't be a wimp. We both know you were just acting tough for your precious princess. Uh, your Highness! Uh, Thank goodness you're safe. Baron Letanmaki, it's good to see that you are safe. And you, Viscount Beckel. I only wish we had died instead of the king. But it hasn't been all bad news of late. This young merchant recently approached us with an interesting proposal. Merchant? Knight, I think you'd better explain. Of course. Why don't we head inside first? Understand, the Kush Perchin silhouette knight, the Lesvant, is a solid mech with a great history. Though compared to the new Zalodek units, they fall behind in firepower and endurance. But don't worry, the Silver Phoenix Merchant Association can offer a solution. All the details are in those reports. Interesting. How do you plan to get the materials? Oh, that's the best part! My brokers are among the most talented in Fremavia. They'll get everything we need from the enemy. Hmm. Uh, I see. Well, Princess, what are your thoughts? It seems good. Mm. Young Knight, if this is indeed a trade, then you'll want something in return. What might that be? Silhouette Knights! More specifically, any of the enemy units our order captures or destroys. We want exclusive rights to their parts and chassis, nothing more. Not a bad deal, all things considered. Thank you, Duchess. Now then, we'll be heading out to rip, break, and crush the enemy! Keep the place warm until we get back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's not Kush Birchin. Well, whoever they are, they're on the wrong side. Get in there and teach them a lesson! <laughs> Glory to Zalodek! Merchant scarecrows? They look different. Shoot now! ship out of the sky would make my day. All right, fine. Just give me some time to put it together. Right. Here's hoping it's ready before the Zalo deck decide to launch another offensive. This battle is against time. When we're out here, the war feels so far away. It's almost non-existent. Hmm. So, uh, Eleonora's heir to the Kuzperchen throne now. Poor thing. It's not fair. That is what it means to have royal blood. She can't run from this, nephew. You cheer her up. Why don't you go pay her a visit, Reese? Oh, uh, sure thing. So I got nothing. We need to help Eleonora. 
Any ideas? Helvi, you're a lady. What would help you out of a funk? Uh, so just because I'm a lady, I'd know how a princess feels? Uh, right, dumb question. You jerk! Kiss and get it over with. Uh, just sleep in the same bed. That'll do it. And make sure to snuggle so she's nice and warm. No. Uh? We're supposed to cheer her up, not traumatize her. Uh... You got an idea, Ernie? Well, if she was a mech... I could figure out most of her problems by listening to the engine noise, but in this case, these two are useless. Then why don't you give it a try? Uh, You're the one who made a vow of knighthood to her, kid. Cheering her up is your job now. Oh, <laughs> a vow? Interesting. Addie's right. If you are her knight... Then it's your duty. Make us proud. Uh, uh, sounds like this matter is settled then. Kid will find a way to cheer up the princess. Uh, <laughs> 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 Eleonora, it's Isadola. I brought a visitor. Come in. Uh, uh, oh, it's you. Yo, how's it going? Uh, I heard that you weren't feeling well. You're here to persuade me to take the throne like everyone else, right? Huh? Well, actually, I just came here for a visit and to try and cheer you up. As we speak, blood is being shed on the battlefield. Summon my name. How can I be cheerful knowing such things? Uh, huh? uh, you want to get out of here? Uh -huh. You've been cooped up for days now. Fresh air would do you good. You're not a prisoner in a tower anymore. Come on. It'll be fun. Um, okay. I told you I want this ready by morning. Complain and you work double. Boss, you got a minute? Uh, not a joke? You know the answer. Um, thank you for all your hard work, sir. <laughs> Your Majesty! <laughs> so, you feeling any better? Yes. Glad to hear it. Knight? Hmm? I don't understand how you can be so kind to a coward like me. Hey, come on. Stop talking like that. Nobody thinks you're a coward, all right? Least of all me, I think you're pretty courageous. If anyone says differently, I'll knock them out. <laughs> I have a job for you. The princess is being protected by this Silver Phoenix Merchant Association. Get her back. Not that I'm ungrateful, Highness, but royal gratitude isn't nearly enough to risk my skin against a foe that powerful. Succeed, and I'll grant you peerage and land in Kushpercha when the job is done. You're serious? It would mean the restoration of the Hietakana's household. That's what you want, right? They're calling themselves the Silver Phoenix Merchants, or some other ridiculous alias. But they're just children playing soldier. Tonight, we get our lives back! Right! I think I'll use the Vindo Badala custom! Oh. What do you want with the princess? Try to run now, I lose my chance. You won't be getting away that easy. Out of my way, brat! Nice mech. They've made more improvements. Uh, so it's you. I've improved too! It won't be like last time! Oh! You're the kid I played with before! I was hoping I'd get to finish the job! It's pretty quick to spite that fat ass! I think it's time that we finish this! I won't spare you a second time! Now, Alterat, 
show her your power! This one's for Helby and the Trendorkers! I guess that's that. Damn it. I should have finished you off back in Fremavia. Oh well. Too late for regret. All the attackers have been slain. They won't trouble us again. Or anyone else for that matter. I'm sorry you had to deal with such trouble on my behalf. Stop it. Uh we don't need an apology. Keeping you safe is what makes us happy. You're our princess, and we're your knights. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Well done, my knights. You have served me well. Our pleasure, your highness. Salodek's army moved swiftly. Cristobal's forces, composed of both the Order of the Black Jaw and Bronze Wing, passed through Fontenay, the land of the former Duke Fernando, into Baron Letenmaki's territory. After brutally destroying Fontenay, Zalodek closed in on Mishiri and Princess Eleonora. It's so quiet. Are those cowards just quivering behind their walls? I expected a fight. The demon hasn't shown himself? I'll be severely disappointed if we came all this way for nothing. Please, my lord, don't stand so close. The windows are vulnerable. Is there any chance we could lower altitude, Helmsman? I can barely make anything out from up here. Our only job here is escorting Prince Cristobal, sir. Unless we're told to do otherwise. We can't interfere with the battle, I know. But you'd better hope it comes out soon. I didn't make this trip just to sightsee. I think we've given them plenty of time to prepare for their deaths. Begin the attack! Sire! Through the air! It's so barbaric! 
He trespasses on my sky and mocks me? Ships two and three have taken heavy hits! We've lost our formation! Highness, we should leave before we lose any more ships! Stay your tongue! By retreat, my sister won't let me live it down. Now, contact the Order of the Black Jaw. Wipe out the town and the princess! Sir! Advance! Crush these rebel scum! Scum? You're the thugs killing innocents for your own gain! Mark my words, Zaladek! You'll pay for every last one of them! The Golden Sword at night? Calm down! He just looks imposing! Howling! Blast! What is this? Come on! The Prince can't have all the fun! Second Company, move out! Keep the momentum! We're punching a hole in their flank and cutting off their advance! We're surrounded! There's no way to get to Nishiri! So oh, there's plenty of time to play! A battle between Soul and Knights is sacred! Flights and Giant! The Demon! Oh! Majesty! Our allies! The Black Shaw! They've... they've been... Enough! Say it already! Their forces have been routed! We've lost this fight, sire! Change course. At once! Damn you, Reaper. Follow the flagship! Quickly! Yes, sir! Belay that order. Lord? If we go now, we'll just get in the Prince's way. Wait a moment. We'll catch up once he's reached safety. Look! One of their ships is fleeing! Batson! You're locked and loaded! Let him have it, kid! You won't get away. Blow engine 7 and 11 are damaged, sir! We're losing speed! It's the demon! Stop shaking like a child, damn you. There must be somebody important on this ship. Why else would you be the first to turn tail and run from the battle? Demon! Setting foot on my ship was your last mistake. I am Cristobal, the second prince of Salodek, and I will be your doom. You should be honored. My, my. Black weapons and close quarters combat gear. It looks like a standard to style them, except you've made the face look so noble. I hope that's not all, or you're in trouble. Shut your mouth! <laughs> package already. Do you not understand what I said? As second prince and commander of Zaladek's armies, I can give you whatever your heart desires. Just name it and it will be yours. You want to be a noble? Just say the word. <laughs> In that case, sure. But uh, let me clarify something first. Does that mean if I ask for the full rights to design and export your nation's silhouette knights, as well as priority command over your army, you'll give it to me? Cause I want that. Wait, is that some kind of cruel joke? Huh? It's no joke, I'm serious. I'm actually a representative of Fremavia's king, and I have full authority regarding development and manufacturing. I handled most of the basic development and design of every silhouette knight you fought and are currently piloting. I'm also free to alter export arrangements, but it's a pain so I don't bother. In times of necessity, my orders can be prioritized over the king himself, so as you can see, I have a pretty sweet setup here. Oh! And I'm not interested in noble titles, so we'll pass on that offer. You bastard. How dare you lie to me like that! I'm Cristobal, son of the king, you sniveling brat! Lie? I'm not. 
I swear everything I've said is the truth. Can you get out of your silhouette light, please? If you do, I promise you won't be harmed. But I will take the mech. Damn you! Damn you! <laughs> Did you think I'd beg for my life, the likes of you? <laughs> Guess again? I won't give you the satisfaction, you devil. Mark my words! You'll pay! And when you do, I'll see you in hell! and his mech. Amazing resolve. The flagship is in pieces. His... His Highness... He the... died in service to Zalodek. We should leave now, lest his sacrifice be in vain. All oh, ships leave the combat area! Using explosions as propulsion. Such a crude way of attaining flight. Makes me wonder what type of person would make it. I suppose that... I'll have to find out for myself, won't I? I'm back! Did you miss me? Oh. You're okay! Thank goodness! I take it you and your friends were victorious, Emerus? Duh! Those losers didn't know what hit them. They'll think twice before attacking again. Thank you. You've saved us all. Uh, Sir Knight, were you hurt? Uh, this? Just a bruise, nothing more. Yep. He was so eager to protect you, but he got his mech's foot caught and thumped his head. Had he? So <sighs> sweet. He was probably trying to show off for our beloved princess. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Uh, Lady Eleonora? Uh, it's nothing. I'm just glad you're all back home safely. Cristobal is dead. I understand your rage, and I'm deeply sorry. All of Zalodek mourns with you. If I wasn't a mere, oh, what do you call it, <laughs> non-combatant, I would have saved him. Even sacrificed my own life if it meant he would survive and lead our people. My regret will burden my soul for as long as I live. Please let me help you avenge his death, your highness, as a way to atone for my failure. In fact, I swear here and now to not rest until this is done. May I have your blessing? Do whatever it takes. Anything you say, Highness. Consider it a guarantee from the true ruler of the skies. The prince has been slain. <laughs> the death of Prince Crystal Ball sent a shockwave through the armies of Zalodek. The orders of the Black Jaw and Bronze Wing were routed so badly, they had no choice but to fall back to Delvincool. As a result, the Kush Perchin Remnant was able to retake Fontenay, the core of the East, with almost no casualties. Are you ready? No, honestly. I'm terrified. The thought of all the good people who might fight and die because I gave an order turns my stomach. But then, I remember all I've seen. Like the courage of your knights as they stood up to conquerors. The hefty hammer that a dwarf must wield. And the Kush Perchin people desperate for a ruler who will serve and watch over them the way my father did until his dying breath. I'm ready. I'll pick up his mantle. <sighs> And I'll be with you until the very end, as your knight and as your friend, my queen. As Queen Eleonora Miranda Kushpercha, I declare, our nation will not be forgotten to history. Instead, we will rebuild and make it stronger than ever. It was the Western year of 1281. The declaration of the founding at Queen Eleonora's coronation forced the Western Grand Storm onto a new stage and forever changed the course of the war. Want us to salvage the next batch? Yeah, that'd be great. The 
There's plenty of material we could use. Well, what about the current batch? Did you find anything interesting? Uh-huh. A lot. Like this little guy. What the... The heck is that? According to one of the airship survivors, it's etherite. Crazy, huh? A concentrated chunk of ether. Hold on. Isn't that the stuff in the air that gets absorbed into the ether reactors? Uh-huh. It's how we get mana. Zolidex forces are using something different. This device, which they apparently call an ether supplier, can transform this etherite into high-density ether at will for a sudden burst of power. That's an odd design. In other words, they can keep supplying fuel without having to gather it from the atmosphere. This device is the reason why the Toronto units are able to sustain such incredible power and seem to never run out of mana. It's incredible! A true masterpiece! You do realize this is the enemies, right? Of course, it has its share of shortcomings, too. Just look at this degradation. The high-density ether really does a number on the supplier. So much, in fact, that they designed it as a replaceable part. But the ether reactor, it's... the most important part of a silhouette knife, like its heart. And they're tossing them after just one use? I doubt it was designed to be a permanent core. It's likely they only use it during emergency situations, like wartime. And the amount of materials they go through must be staggering. Oh yeah! I also figured out how their levitate ships fly! A device called the Etheric Levitator uses the natural behavior of ether itself to defy gravity and achieves momentum using air magic. An Etheric Levitator? Another brilliant piece of technology! The amount of ether it needs to properly function must be astronomical! It had a ton of ether suppliers attached to it. Unfortunately, even the crew weren't told exactly how it works, so I can't know for sure. The only person with that knowledge is the Levitator's inventor, Horatio Kojas. I'd love to meet him. I bet we could learn all kinds of stuff from each other. Jeez, kid. You got enough of that fearless optimism to go around? Some folks around here could use a pitch or two. I know I could. Here, Sir Knight, say ah. Uh. Hold on. Please, Your Majesty, stop. Everyone is looking at us. Come on. It's one little bite. Uh. Kids turning red, how cute! Sorry to keep you waiting so long. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, nothing? Perfect timing! Uh, Join us! Hey, help me out here! What do you need help with, man? She is totally into you! <laughs> Never mind them, Ernesty. We have some important news to discuss. It's going well. All of our remaining forces have regrouped here in Fontany. Thanks to you, of course. Sadly, the enemy still greatly outnumbers us, and there's nothing we can do to close that gap. I know they belong to you according to our contract, but would you be willing to give us the remaining silhouette knights you have claimed? If we could rebuild them, they'd be a boon to our forces. I know we're asking a lot of you, Ernie. I don't have a problem with it. Please, take whatever you need. <sighs> To be honest, it would take way too long to handle all those silhouette knights with the manpower we have. If you're willing to help us rebuild them, we'd be happy to give you as many as you need in return. Beyond that, we'd be willing to lend them to you for the duration of the war and until Kushpercha is stabilized. Does that sound like a fair arrangement? That's perfectly fine. Thank you so much, Ernie. We're grateful. Okay, then. In that case, since the silhouette knights you'll be using technically belong to the Silver Phoenix, any silhouette knight you defeat with them will automatically belong to us! <sighs> I was just joking, really! No, you weren't. Come on. You're a hundred percent serious. This sucks! Why don't we get to have tea and cakes with the royal family? The Nightsmith takes pride in working in the background. Unnoticed. Wait a minute, David, are you crying? Crying is just sweat of the heart. With help from the Order of the Silver Phoenix, the army of the reborn Kushperchen Kingdom devoted all its energy to expanding the military. The Zalodax, still reeling from the loss of the Prince, lost their momentum and the Kushperchens began to push them back. Several months passed. This fortress now belongs to the reborn Kingdom of Kushpercha! Let him hear us in Zalodax! That was easier to take than I expected. Yeah. The Kushperchen Knights are getting better. I'm proud of them. Do you think the others are okay? I don't have reason to worry. Ernesty and Dee are with them. They couldn't be safer. 
company prides itself on blitz attacks, not slow advances. Uh, is that a levitate ship? A little late. And it's alone. <sighs> That's no ship. Look closer. Later, but you won't be around to see it! 
You'll be six feet under! Ah, you'll see about that! Kubasa! Uh. Chevalier, how will you try to fight my creation? <laughs> you got me all fired up. I can't remember a fight that really challenged me. This is your last chance! Run while you still can! You're joking, right? I'd rather die than turn my back on the likes of you! Coward I used to be is long gone! Lightning flail! What's that? <laughs> hey, was not expecting that. <laughs> Tests of strength don't really do it for me! <laughs> not happening! Damn you! Just die! Goodbye, Twin Swords! <laughs> what? The ether supplier just crapped out! I forgot. If I use the reactor too much, it deteriorates and shuts down. Ernesty was right, it's a double-edged sword. And I thought if I pushed you, it might do you in. That was a one in a million shot, but it looks like it paid off. Oh, shut up! <laughs> That's it. The Guerlinda's too damaged to move. Come on, guys. Give me some kind of sign that you're all right. Honesty! Rosa 2 is run out of mana! Ugh. We have 13 of the damn things and we've already lost three of them. Even with our extensive mana pool, he chips away at us. Maybe this creature truly is a demon. If I had to guess, it's about time to use your trump card, General. Wouldn't you agree? Mm. Load the special cells and fire! <laughs> Special blend of metal fragments, saltpeter, and sulfur powder. What did you call it? The Magius Engine Jet Thruster? What will happen if it sucks in enough of that smoke? 
It may not destroy it outright, but it will certainly damage the emblem graph that runs it. And once that happens, the demon's wings are clipped. Okay, we officially have a problem here! Crap! the flame! This is our chance! Burn in hell, demons! Not today! Bastard! Won't go down that easily, huh? Fly by me! You want another one? Congratulations on a successful counterattack. You must be very proud. Successful? The demon is alive and the prince remains unavenged. What exactly are you working on? Just what it looks like. Something new for the Veaver so your next success will feel like one. And here I thought you didn't like to get your hands dirty. As they say, if you want it done right, do it yourself. Is this some kind of massive ether reactor? I didn't think they could get this big. Very observant. I call it the Blood Grail. It's specifically designed for high-density ether, though it's still a prototype. Thirteen reactors linked together couldn't stop that monster, so I had to do something. You think this will be the difference? Turn this on and you'll command a power that will make the demon look like an insignificant flea. In theory. <laughs> But even if it does work as intended, the power will be a double-edged sword. Once it starts to go out of control, nobody can stop it. <gasps> Again, just in theory. Does that scare you? Will you refuse it? But I went to all the trouble of putting it in. I even have blisters. Don't worry. If it'll kill the demon, I'll master it. That's what I wanted to hear, General. Oh, right. Equipment this delicate will need to be monitored, so I'll be coming along for the next battle. Really? You know how knights speak with their swords? Well, General, engineers speak with their creations. I can't wait. What kind of conversation will we have? Ernesty et Chevalier. New supplies have arrived from home. Your behavior aside, it's a loss to my army not to have a knight of your caliber on the battlefield. It's nice to know I'm appreciated. But my swordman is scrap and I don't have a spare. Not a problem. No way! The Royal Silhouette Knight, the Algalorix. The best unit in all Zaladek. Brother Carlito sent it from home. But it won't do any good without a pilot. Use it as you see fit. Really? Thank you, Majesty. 
When I'm done, the demon and his friends will be in so many pieces the Grim Reaper won't know what to do! Reports indicate that the first fortress has fallen once again. The third fortress as well. They're pushing too fast. We can't keep the ground we took. So this Drake unit, did it really give you that much trouble? Yes. It's something entirely different than a Levitate ship or Silhouette Knight. We should consider it a new category of weapon. Can you defeat it? Our first battle was a tie, but they're likely to improve the design. I would. And did. I equipped the Magius Jet Thruster with a protective filter that should mitigate the effect of their smoke shells. They won't clip my wings twice. But that isn't what you asked, and to be perfectly honest, I doubt the Ikaruga could beat it the way it is now. You seem oddly calm about that, Ernie. What's Zaldek's next move? More of the same. Their basic tactic will be an assault from the air, using the Drake in their airships. The only ones who can fight this, I'm afraid, are my Ikaruga and the Order of the Silver Phoenix. Alright, we'll form a unit around Ikaruga and counterattack. Hopefully it's enough. There is the chance the Drake won't show up, in which case... We'll have committed our entire force and left the homeland defenseless. This war will be over quickly if our base is destroyed. Then we'll strengthen our defenses. Won't that just cause the enemy to throw everything they have at us? Yeah, and they just received fresh supplies and soldiers. I'd like to avoid a mass battle. We don't have the numbers to survive it. So, is there any way to strengthen the defenses and take out the Drake at the same time? You idiot! Sorry! As it stands, we don't have a way to do that. The point of the meeting is solving this problem. Didn't have to hit me. Hmm. Damned if we do, damned if we don't, huh? Not quite. <gasps> There is an option no one has considered. If the enemy is afraid of another confrontation with Ernesty, then... We should give them that, by attacking Delvin Cool head-on. But uh, your harness! We can't! You'll be left here without a single knight to protect you! I wouldn't want my top advisors worried about me. So I'll go with you. We'll take our full army and the Order of the Silver Phoenix as well. They won't be expecting it, that's for sure. I know I wouldn't. I'm through with this constant back and forth. Enough knights have died for us. Enough people have suffered at the hands of Zalodek. For Kushpercha, we'll take back our capital at last. <laughs> My brave knights of Kushpercha, these past months have been fraught with trials and tribulations no nation should face. We lost our beloved capital to a country of cowardly invaders. We've lost our loved ones, and still, we're in danger of losing even more. But we will rise again, through our own efforts and through the power of our newfound friends. Instead of letting that night of tragedies haunt us, we will use it as fuel. We will retake our capital and avenge the fallen. As queen, I swear Kushpersha will be whole and at peace once more. But before that peace comes, we will remove the invaders from our home and make sure they never return! All forces, to victory! Stirring speech, nicely done. Do you really think so? Yes. Being queen suits you well. You're doing a great job, Highness. Don't be so formal. It's weird having my family call me Highness. You better get used to it, and quickly. Things have changed. We can't go back to how they were. Ernesty. Yes, Your Highness. What can I do for you? As Queen of Kushpercha, I feel I must apologize. You are a guest, and yet we entrust so much to you. I regret that more than anything. Please, think nothing of it. I have my reasons for being in this fight. Let's just say our interests align and leave it at that, all right? He's right, Ellie. Don't apologize, you might spoil him. Next thing you know, he'll ask for all your mechs and castles. Gee, thanks a lot, Highness. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> the Kishpertan army made their move with haste. The goal of the operation was to down the Drake battleship and retake the old capital of Delvincourt. Their momentum fully restored, they pressed on until reaching Shilda Nariaku Fortress, the last obstacle keeping them from their goal. There, they encountered Zelodek's army. The enemy airships are 
are here. This your javelins? Fire! You have your orders. Defend the queen at all costs. Don't let a single enemy get through. Show them once and for all why the first company of the Silver Phoenix is known as the Shield! Knights, fight hard! When those drawbridges come down, this battle is ours! Then it's a straight shot home to Delvin Cool! I never expected to go on a mission with you, Captain Kunitz. It is an honor. Thanks, but it's not that big a deal. I just happen to know my way around a silhouette gear. Our friends are counting on us. Success here is paramount. Right. Let's open the door for them, shall we? The resistance is greater than expected. Perhaps if we punched a hole through this line... <laughs> Majesty! Look up there! So that's it. The Drake. Ah, how kind of the Queen to come to us. Burn her to cinders in front of her entire army! Oh my, as I live and breathe. The demon's here, and he's gone through some changes. Rather odd, that. I'm not sure what it is. I see now. You plagiarist. How's my levitate ship working out, I wonder? You know, for a second there, I didn't think we'd have this thing ready in time. Never underestimate the ingenuity of a dwarf. Is it too late to turn around? I really don't want to be here. What do you mean, oh, Batson? This is when we put forth our best effort. I'm so excited I'm shaking. Let's do this! Do what exactly? We're the glorified engine for this thing. We're kind of stuck here. What's important is how you feel. When I first saw airships, I knew a design like the Drake wasn't far behind. Sorry, I can't allow you to exist. If I don't defeat you, this world will trend toward larger weapons. With each redesign, the airships will slowly become battleships. If that happens, the robots I love more than anything will become obsolete or completely forgotten. No way. Not while I'm alive and kicking. I'll destroy that outcome. So the robots are the future! This should prove quite interesting. Fever versus demon, large versus small. I wonder whose technology will come out on top. Only one way to find out, Lord Kojas. The time for talk is over. All right, we built this ship for ramming things. Time to test it out. Okay, but don't blame me if it hits badly. So the demon intends to ram us. Well, we won't give him the satisfaction. Akirosa, shoot him down! Calm down, Forsyth Jet Thrusters, full power! Run away! Unexpected. Chase those cowards! They fell for it! All according to plan. We're counting on you, Silver Phoenix. Now that we're here, we can fight as hard as we want! Time to launch the counterattack! Vespiari? No matter how many you fire, lightning field! Oh, they're filled with some sort of liquid. Figure out what it is! Ah, it's oil. Ah, 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 that quite demon tracked us! Did you like them? 
I got the idea from those annoying smoke bombs of yours! <laughs> robots into glorified turrets. I'll set them free, one way or another! Get those fires out! We must five on Kyrosis! Make that six! Not yet. Not until that bastard is dead! We still have the Blood Grail. Now might be your last chance to use it. You just have to give the order, and you'll have the power to crush the demon. I like to call it the Maximizer. <sighs> Drawbridges are coming down! They what? Okay, I saw one of the drawbridges come down. Nicely done. I'm impressed, Commander. Back at you. You're something else. The Azure Hawk's lucky to have you. <laughs> they really have us backed into a corner! My, my. I guess there's only one way to fight back now, General. <laughs> Fine, we'll use this. Maximizer. Blood Grail activate! Uh, Roger. Blood Grail activation is a go. <laughs> Linking element crystal collapse. High density ether supply to all reactors. Maximized form engaged! What the? Dragon's blood is overflowing! What an incredible glow! <laughs> I guess the heart was a little too big for your body, my dear Fever. Truly fascinating! What is that? A massive shining dragon for a night there, there is no more worthy opponent! <laughs> now that we've maximized, they could throw everything they have at us and it won't even make a dent! This is our chance, men! The demon is helpless before this power! Feel the rage of our fallen prince! This fortress once belonged to the noble Kuz Prince's people! We're taking it back! Ha <laughs> ha! Bring your whole army, it won't make a difference! I can take your whole pitiful nation myself! With my dead man's sword! It's your funeral! Out of the way! Everyone stay back! This fight is mine! Dietrich mentioned a knight wielding multiple swords. I guess it's up to me to finish the job. You're going to let me through! Take this! I'll cripple your neck the same way I did twin swords! You bastard! I won't let you hurt anyone else! Fiery! I like that. Slice you up in front of all Kush Percha and fill their hearts with fear! You're getting ahead of yourself! <laughs> so close and yet so far. Huh? Aw, oh, man! Mission complete. Right. Don't let them pass! If one makes it, I'll kill you! <laughs> are giving everything for our country, and yet all I can do is watch them risk their lives. But that is my duty. Damn it! Why won't you just die?! That thing is a monster! That said, even the best man-made inventions can't magically grow. So, it's wearing the excess mana like a cloak that nullifies long-range attacks. If they think my only strength is fighting from a distance, they've got another thing coming. I'll just focus my mana into my sword cannons and break through! And then, engage the Drake at point-blank range! Here he comes like a moth to the flame! Incinerate the demon until there's nothing left but ash! You'll have to do a lot better! Come on, stop being so predictable! 
好。Stops. 
You're gonna what? The hell? Does that idiot have a death wish? Don't die on us, kid. I'm not gonna. Nah, 
That was plenty. Next time we meet, I want to be better than I am now. Just seven more mountains, boys! We'll keep pushing until we get back to Salotech! Or until we run out of food. Variable Magius Jet Thrusters, huh? A truly interesting choice, I must say. Ernesty et Chevalier. How far do you think your devotion to aesthetics will take you? Honestly, I can't wait to find out for myself. Of course, you'll learn more about my theories too. Perhaps even sooner than you were expecting, my young rival. Now then, to find another king with delusions of grandeur willing to buy my inventions. <laughs> I think the boss is making pot of food for lunch. Welcome home, Silver Phoenix. Your work out there has been exemplary. Especially you, Night Runners. Your bravery will be a shining example to all who come after you. Your prowess in battle shall be remembered by all for generations to come. And of course, there's our industrious Nightsmiths who toiled ceaselessly to keep our Night Runners in the fight. Without your endurance, Zalodek may very well have succeeded in their grim endeavor. And thank you, Knight Commander, for giving my worthless grandson some glory. I will reward you with anything you desire. Nothing is off limits this time around. Ask and it shall be yours. Okay then! I won't hold anything back! <sighs> Not bad at all, Silver. Our own Silhouette Night Lab. I guess it's all right, but you could have asked him for more. You're not as greedy as I thought, Ernie. What are you talking about? Of course I'm greedy. I'm the king of greedy. All I want to do is collect the most amazing Night Runner technology ever produced, the greatest Nightsmiths in the world, and the ultimate Silhouette Knights. I can't think of a more fulfilling life to lead. First off, I want to make a Silhouette Knight that flies more beautifully and efficiently than Ikoruga ever could! But to do that, I'll have to do a redesign of the fundamentals, starting with ether reactors and crystal tissue! I may even need to write a whole new set of scripts! Something to complement the ones for fluid and heat mechanics! And not just for Silhouette Knights, either! I want to design a Silhouette gear that can fly as well! The skies themselves, no, the way people live would be totally changed forever! But surely something like that is impossible. The impossible is what we do! Well, I've heard enough. It'll be sunset before he's done yammering. Have fun with that! I'm going to raid the kitchen. Same, I'm starving. Um, okay. Seriously, Arnie, stop focusing on your dreams and take a look at what's around you for once. I do. There's a lab and silhouette nights. <sighs> the Western Grand Storm, which began as an offensive by the Kingdom of Zalotek, brought levitate ship technology to all nations of the world. People gained a unique way to move from place to place, and an exciting new era was born. This great age of airships would also be filled with trials and accomplishments. But that's a story of its own, one we'll save for another time.